truth is the Ark of the Covenant buried in Ethiopia. Watch me do fuck with a Minneapolis Somalian. When I go home, the world I used to know is gone, and now I live on my own for what shall it Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Ice House Comedy Club here in Pasadena, California, where once, sometimes twice a week, we put on a live comedy show in one room. And in this room, we do a live podcast. If you want to go to a show, go to Ice House's website, icehousecomedy.com. And now, here's my co-host, Joe Rogan. Holla! I've gone squatching today. I'm 100% convinced now that Bigfoot's real. I've been, <laughs> I've been watching the Patterson Gremlin footage, and uh, it's fucking real, Which man. Which happens to be I've the fakest footage of all ba- yeah, Bigfoot you say footages. Yeah, you say that, dude, but I'm looking at that thing moving, and I'm like, you know what? Why am I ridiculing it 100%? Joe, it looks, like, an, li- <laughs> it looks like a big, stoned, lazy dude Do walking you, slowly. Did <laughs> you not note that I've gone squatching? <laughs> Are you trying to deny that I've been squatching all day? Listen, man, I'm, something about this hat, it's got me convinced. I've looked at the footage. I've, lo- I've looked at the footage. I'm convinced. They did not have the technology to make face, fake muscles. In all, in Bobo, all seriousness. But Bobo must have the, the technology to put acid into the bill of that hat. And yeah. It's starting to soak in. <laughs> Perhaps Bobo hooked me up. But I'm telling you, man, for real, when I look at that video, it, I want to absolutely tell you that it's horseshit. But there's parts of the way that thing moves where I'm like, wow, like, how would a person do that exactly? I bet like, I can That's do. not built. A person's not built that way. It's a, if, if it's a suit, it's fucking incredible. I think it's way better than I gave it credit for because I would just poo-poo it because it just seems ridiculous that this guy just It looks like a big white, silly fake suit. Goes and looks for Bigfoot and finds it. I mean, it seems ridiculous. <laughs> but you know what? It's just as ridiculous that Bigfoot exists. So if I'm willing to think that Bigfoot could possibly exist... Why wouldn't I think that this asshole got video footage of it? Just when, when did they release the tape, though? Because maybe they taped just, it later and just said it was from 1967. No, no. It was like released back then. This shit's old as fuck. You're so open-minded that you did a 180 yeah. so fast on the issue. You're the Listen. most open-minded person I've ever met, Joe. Oh, well, that's cool. No, is for real. It's like, no, it is. Because you can say something and then be like, you know what? I was wrong, and now I believe this. Do you say well, open-minded or stoned? No. This is what I say. I, I do not say I know that this is a Sasquatch, but I do not say that I do not know that it's a Sasquatch. When I watched it move, I was like, this fucking stupid fake-looking thing. And then I watched it again. And then uh, as I'm watching it move, I'm like, wow, that's weird. Like, the muscles move with the limbs. Like, I don't think they could do that back then. I think you would have a jacket-looking effect, or it was a big, stupid jacket. The, the way the thing is, the this thing's moving, there's some close-up of it. When it gets to a close-up of it, that's when it's the most impressive, which is even crazier. Watch, it'll get close. And see when it gets close? When you're looking at that thing's body... Yeah, it looks like a silly monkey suit. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> and it seems like it's... Long, yeah, maybe. And maybe. He, he's got little but little poles in his guess hands. What? If that was a real gorilla, it wouldn't look much different than that, man. It wouldn't be walking like that. Exactly. But if it was a fucking gigantopithecus or whatever the hell this thing is supposed to be, if it was an actual bipedal primate, it might fucking look exactly like that. Why? When you watch this thing walk, when they get the close-up footage on it, the close-up footage, I don't know which one you're looking at. I'm looking at uh, Patterson Gremlin best clips film only no edits. <laughs> but they uh, when they, when they get the closest to it, that's when it's the most impressive yeah, to me. Yeah, I think they have one that's just they zoom in on the yeah. footage. Yeah, like hey, this dude's casual looking right look over back. at the camera. <laughs> nice casual, perfect frame. If if you're a monkey, you're gonna be like, hey, what's that over there? You're gonna stop and be like, oh shit, what's that? Somebody's looking at me. Not Unless like you're like, used to being around people. You've seen him before, and you know this bitch ain't gonna do shit. Let me just go home. He's not. He's just like looking over, like, yeah, what's up, bro? Well, imagine if that is fucking real, man. <laughs> I saw I'm s- telling you that I'm not Imagine 100% unicorns convinced. Are real. That's cooler. No, no, no. I'm not 100% there's convinced no, that that's fake. There's no clips of unicorns on the internet, bro. I'm not and there's no clips convinced. of Bigfoots either. This looks to me like like a real animal. I'm watching the way it moves. I saw a thing where they went back to that same spot and it's uh it's much more overgrown now. But the distance between where the camera was and the the supposed Sasquatch is not very far away. Mm-hmm. Like they they show you. Oh, how, you mean on that show? Uh, I'm not sure if it was that show or a different thing that I saw. But 
they, they basically show you what it looks like now and they're like that was where I was standing and that's where the, the squatch was and it's like whoa that's a lot closer than, the than you the think is that what they I'm, call it in short the squatch squatch <laughs> yeah. don't you see I've gone squatching yeah. oh wow you not know squatchy that's what that is. squatchy is yeah, a term squatching by the squatching way, is a term by the way this we got a fucking real animal man no, it's not. Bill, by the way we got Billy Bonell How Josh McDermott say? Tony Hinchcliffe Randy Lickey Hello. and PDC why do I think that because I think that of all the Bigfoot footage that's available that is the most cheap Easiest looking, fakest looking footage. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a real animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. But dude, I mean, I'm just saying yeah. that throws every single theory that you have out the water. Oh, but, <laughs> but it's, Do you not see that I've gone squatching? Do you not see what's going on? You're real arguing with me, you silly bitch. But wouldn't you be disappointed if you. I've gone squatching, dude. I know. You squatched too much today. I don't think so. Nice. I think I've got a valid point. I think it's a real animal. <laughs> But how animally like would you like it to be in a dream world? Like Squatching, if you got, if it was, in I would front like of it to be like them. almost human, right? Like exactly, some almost human primate. Wouldn't it be so disappointing if and it just made prison, monkey noises? You know, it would. Lock, how how quick would they lock that bitch up? Like in China, if they found a yeti, lock it in that fucking cage, bitch. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't care what the UN says. Like, hmm, we can make a lot of money. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so awesome. Even if it, yeah, even if it, it could talk. Please let me out. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck you, yeti. He just Stay wants beef there, jerky and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Please let me out. <laughs> <laughs> I need my children. I promise I'll hide forever. Let me find my children. <laughs> what have you done to the world? <laughs> yeah, I'm not totally sure, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying no. This is a it's fucking Jane Goodall, dude. This is I'm a- not completely saying no either. I don't know what my opinion on that clip is, but what, I'm from the Northwest. Yeah, yeah. and uh, There's too many people talk. I, I about believe it. enough. Yeah, I don't know. Hundred uh, percent either way. Do but. you know how hard they know wolverines exist? They know they exist. Uh-huh. You know how fucking hard it is to find one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's almost impossible to find those fucking things, and they're stupid as shit. <laughs> they're stupid, evil motherfuckers, <laughs> and you can't find them. Go looking for them. They're hard to find. Here we we got. Uh, never find dead <laughs> ones. We got that, the I'm convinced. stabilized version of a Bigfoot flying on oh, top yeah. of another Bigfoot. That's gay Bigfoot sex, bro. That's what a Bigfoot suit looks like what? right there. Oh, oh, no, see, that's, that's fake. A, no, that's fake, no, right? No, this that, is totally real. That's what? real. Look at the what arms. Song it's this? green yeah. screen. Is this for people with... No, that's uh, not green screen. They're really green flying. Screen, <laughs> but, yeah. but they're fucking real. They're, they're real they're real swatches. Real, they're really flying through space no, 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 no. that's filled with question marks. That's the fake part. They're real squatch. What, what, what was that background? What was that background? I don't know. Some don't know. crazy background. It's green screen, man. It's yeah, team. but there was like <laughs> shit going on in the background. It was like symbols. Weird clouds. It's a part in the movie where uh, Jack Black's tripping on mushrooms. Yeah. Was that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. What, what movie is it from? Uh, Tenacious D. Uh, the Pick of oh. Destiny. Oh, that's, yeah. that's funny. Which is whenever, actually, whenever people make a case for Bigfoot and the Sasquatch, like they make their case and I'm always like, yeah, okay. I'm on board. I'm with you. And then someone else is like, <laughs> no, let me poke holes in that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what? You're right. Yeah. You're right. And then someone else <laughs> is like, no, fuck that, man. Listen. And I, yeah. I, I don't know what to believe. Whatever the it's, most recent argument is, yeah. I'm on board. I'm looking at this video footage, and I really am not convinced it's fake. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying it's real, but I'm not convinced that it's fake. Is this real, Joe? What are you, 50-50, 60-40? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to put a number on it. Yeah, but I don't. I don't there's know. There's something that it's about fake. watching the way that thing moves with its ass muscles and its back muscle when they have like these close-ups on it. I'm watching that move and I'm, I'm seeing the, the crest in his back and I'm like, man, I don't know if they could replicate that back then. I'm looking at the way the thing's muscles move and I'm like, I don't know if they could do that back then. I'm not. I'm not thoroughly convinced. It's weird because lots of different cultures who didn't communicate have history of these type of things, but so so same thing with religion. So it's like. It's an archetypal thing where it's like, ah, there's a God that exists in all these different cultures, and there's like a, some yeah. sort of Sasquatch that exists in all these cultures. But does that make, make it real? You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, does God, is God real because everyone in every country believes in a God? Or right. It's so weird. Yeah. It's, it's real iffy. I mean, it's <laughs> super iffy. If the, but so many people talk about it, it's weird. You know, one of the things that this guy pointed out, when the guy who was on the show, the, uh, James Bobo Fay. Was that the uh, Bobo said all these areas in Northern California? They're all called like Ape Valley, and uh-huh. you know, and you know, Ape Hills, and it's like apes. Like they name like Ape Creek and shit. It's it's fucking weird, man. Like mm-hmm. there's a lot of names for that that, that are ape names. 
that in the Pacific Northwest in a place where there's no apes. Like, why is everything ape this and ape that? And why are these all these fucking stories? Like, yeah. it's not... In, if, you, if you fly over there and you see how ridiculous it is, mm -hmm. how ridiculously dense, like, the Pacific Northwest is, you go, man, I don't know. Should it, we go? It might... Should, no, should we... A little bit of a bitch. <laughs> let these crazy assholes... Just let them go about that. Once the government has drones that have covered every fucking square inch of the ground, then we'll find <laughs> Bigfoot nests and we'll be able to watch them and map them on a grid. I'm there. I'll do, do it. you're in. I'll take you on my expedition, bro. I'm so Sick. impatient. Sick. Like, I, it's so interesting to me, but I, like, yeah. I have no patience I to am... write a joke longer than 30 seconds. <laughs> write so, a joke longer? Yeah, all my jokes seconds? are very short. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's a patience issue. This, yeah, if you're going to do Bigfoot <laughs> material, man, you got to troll for hours yeah. before it really sets in. I'm not willing to dedicate my life to Dude, anything. It's like five, five notebooks at least. Well, you know, that's because well, you, know, you have not gone squatching. See this? <laughs> I'll go like That's vacation legit. squatching. Like, is there like a day trip no, that I can do? Listen, or? You're in or you're out. <laughs> Dude, don't, 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 is there a van that can squatching pick me up and drop me off respected. at my squatch? Yeah. Right, you know we, got many, a, we got a three got quarter day trip, and we got. You know how many positive tweets I got from people that were happy that I take the squat the squatch seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you take the squatch. Seriously. I like it, man. <laughs> <laughs> is that what glad, the tweet said? Glad you take the squatch seriously, man. <laughs> There's you think you think America is crowded, but there are so many fucking spots that like go drive drive for three hours you yeah. know like it's wide open yeah it's so fucking wide open yeah there's plenty you could start a cult anywhere you want exactly well open up shop anywhere you want but it won't last anywhere there, there are specific spots it's amazing how we gave up choose. they gave up certain states like utah they were like go ahead take it <laughs> yeah take it go get, go get crazy yeah <laughs> you can have the whole state yeah you know your cult gets this state Everybody associates that state with the Mormons. Yeah. I mean, they took a state. They essentially took most of the states. I mean, anybody is allowed yeah. to live there. They're very nice people. If you want to have nice neighbors, Mormons, I, I suggest out of all the people that are in cults, Scientologists and Mormons make the best neighbors. Yeah, because they're going to have fucked up nice. shit. No, not necessarily. They're, they're yeah. focused, focused people. Do you have any? Mormons are very family oriented. You got any Mormon definitely. neighbors? Yeah, I had a Mormon neighbor and a Scientology neighbor. Great people. Super nice. We had some weird conversations, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, look, he, I, I'm not there to impose my ideas on him, so I didn't argue with him about it. My Scientology neighbor was the weirdest one because he kind of went into depth. He wanted to explain it to me how his, uh, his wife was going clear and yeah. uh, what that entailed. Oh, wow. Right. $50,000. He, he wanted to buy a piece of land, but then he uh, decided not to buy it <laughs> because his wife was going to go clear. <laughs> And that's a common. That's a common thing no, that happens in people's lives. I is mean, like land or wife clear. It's like, hold up. How much does it cost? <laughs> it costs fifty thousand dollars. And what happens when you're clear? Okay, I don't want to butcher this. So Scientology's people out there, no disrespect. I believe the concept is when you hit clear, that you are now immune to other people's negative energy, the negative influence. That you you're clear you 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 won't that it goes right through you, you don't you don't you don't retain that. So the things that annoy the average person about you know life, you have attained some level of enlightenment, where the the, the real silliness of life doesn't work on you anymore. And it's which is a beautiful idea. Fifty grand. Yeah, but that's like... That's a pretty round number yeah, for such an obscure damn, thing. Damn, man. I, I could... Forget your troubles. You know, this is this was this guy's religion. I mean, that's how they look at it. I mean, for him, this was... Look, he was a very nice guy. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to fuck with him. So <laughs> I was like, okay. I, I didn't, you know, I, did, I didn't want to question it. I was like, how long have you been doing this? You really enjoy it? Just nice things, but... You know. Did they ever like have Groupon clears? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Together, I don't know, man. I talk too much shit to everybody a Scientologist. <clears throat> when I first I moved to, be interested in having me in. I don't know though. I took a test once. Really? I took one of those. Um, you sit down. You hold the e meter. Oh, do you, do you know what? Yeah. Do you know what that does? That that. What? It's, no, it's what a very crude. That? It's basically a crude lie detector test. Really? It, it's the same mechanism as a lie detector, and they, as they're asking you these questions. They look at the meter and then they mark down basically if you're telling the truth or you're lying, and then oh, they wow. have some sort of record of certain facts about you. 
Wow, yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah, so it's it's a very crude. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, um, it's like a stress test. They do a free stress yeah, test. Yeah, yeah. It was on the beach. We were we were filming some uh, this show called the uh, Game Show in my head. It was like a, a hidden camera show where contestants mm-hmm. had. A, that was also where I, I lost all my faith in UFO sightings. Because <laughs> we we asked people to fake UFO stories. Because right. you know, we pretended to be a news camera crew, and we asked, and they just fucking immediately started making stories. And they were good, right? Oh yeah, yeah, fully convincing. Yeah, we had a guy show the the, the stunt was the kid was a news camera guy, and he it, your assignment is you're a news camera guy, but the witness to the story that you're about to cover has disappeared, and you got to convince someone else to pretend that they witnessed a UFO sighting. All right, and they were abducted. <laughs> do you know how easy it was to get people to do that? Like that. Yeah. Like people just did it. They just started lying. They had no buzzwords. And they were like, and the, to yeah, say. he goes, listen, man, there, there was apparently there was a UFO sighting here, and uh, this guy saw it, but then he took off. Would you be willing to say you did it? And, and he goes, yeah, absolutely. And then you got to get him to, <laughs> uh, along the way, you got to get him to say he was abducted. Right, right. <laughs> you gotta, what, do you feel that what? it's possible that you were abducted? You got to get him to say he was abducted. Like they got a little thing in their ear. <laughs> That's hilarious. But they just fucking immediately started lying just to get on TV. That's yeah. so sick. And they sound. They were good stories. That's it was sick. a silver. It was. It was a disc-like object. I mean, it didn't look like anything I'd ever seen. I mean, they're like fucking <laughs> little lying cocksucker. The shit they're coming up yeah. with on the top of their head, like right that. away, descriptive. Right away, like, c- trying to be convincing. Just as bad. I mean, you put a camera in front of someone and almost, you, there's a, always, there's a layer of bullshit, like, the way they talk. And so they're gonna, they might seem like they're lying. Right. Even if they really did see right. a UFO, if you stick a fucking camera on oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. nervous. You know? oh, this is how I get when I'm nervous. Yeah, I there, seem there, like I'm there lying. There could be that. There could <laughs> be that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they'd even start believing it. You know, you can get false... Uh, you know, you can get people to admit to something they didn't really do. Yeah. So maybe if you're like, what, what did you feel? Were you sick to your right. stomach? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You see yeah, that on. I really on, think they did. Did I yeah. really get abducted? Oh, fuck. I really. <laughs> now I'm remembering. On, uh, on yeah. Dateline all the time. Like I saw this thing where these uh, these little kids accused a bus driver of like uh, molesting them. Yes. And it yeah. ne- the woman like flat out denied it. And I think she ended up getting out of jail after spending like 14 years in jail or oh. whatever. But. But the parents were even like, didn't she touch you like that? And then the kids were like, oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Like the parents are coaching and the kids just started to believe, you know? They had well, one of those specials on uh, History Channel where they're doing the memory thing. So they'll walk these people through a field that has a mop crash site mm-hmm. for something that looks just sketchy, like silvery stuff. And then they'll ask them to what they saw. And automatically, like 10 seconds later, they'll be like, oh, there was, I saw a body. There were guys with guns. Like, no time. <laughs> It's a fake crash. Right? Black guys. Black guys with guns. Yeah. Oh. Do you know the men in black theory? Uh-uh. That the, these, uh, these, they're actually aliens. They try to walk amongst us. So they wear black suits and they drive black cars and they wear black hats. And they always show up in, in places where there's been a lot of abductions. And they talk to witnesses. But then no government agency oh. can ever confirm who they are. And like this is like the, that was like the original Men in Black. Oh, really? Before they made that movie. Where in, you know, in the movie, they're secret agents. But in, in the folklore. That they're, know, they're actual aliens. It's fascinating walking folklore. Among us. That's really cool. It's really fascinating because what we're looking at is, you know, it's, it's, it's essentially some, a, t- a type of modern day mythology. Right. Sort of a self-created modern day mythology. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's Rumpelstiltskin. Man, it's mm-hmm. a werewolf. It's it's cool. Like these are the same things that people have always done. Where they're telling yeah. cool stories about when and what happens is, whenever there's a UFO sighting, <laughs> the men in black arrive. Yeah. They have strange translucent skin and yeah. black. And you're like, whoa, this is awesome. You know, it's it, it becomes something that you know, and then people look forward to seeing the men in black, and then they, you know, then you know, it becomes an archetype. People believe what they want to believe, man. Fucking like, well, I was a, a summer camp counselor, and we were trying to scare the shit out of the kids. <laughs> nice. we, okay, yeah. We had seen a uh, like the, all the water in the area was like down at like low, low levels, and so all the animals are coming in to like drink from our our lakes, like deer and shit. Mm-hmm. And then we'd come back from a break, and there'd just be dead deer carcass everywhere because the mountain lions would come in because they it would, they were just like sitting ducks, right? Holy so shit! So the kids are freaking out. So we're like, oh well, let's just double down on this. So we started telling these <laughs> stories about this three legged uh, mountain lion named Stump. We just nicknamed him Stump. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and like we would sit there and just describe these stories to these kids oh, about like, no! dude, I was just at the bathroom and I saw a stump and I was face to face with it. And the kids are pissing themselves Why and stuff. Why would you do this? Look, I was like 19 years old. I didn't what give a shit. Asshole. But the thing is, 
I started to believe it myself. <laughs> you know, walking yes, around and scared. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because the stories were so like they're so vibrant good, and real. Well, it's probably like OJ when OJ oh, yeah. tells that story over and over and over again. He's probably oh, shit, yeah. erased it from his memory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and you can fucking you can re you know you can repress something. Well, memory is very shaky. Yeah, dude. it really is very shaky. You know, I have some shit that I remember, but, but do I, how much of it do I really remember? Yeah, totally. I mean, it's a fucking shitty slideshow. It's blurry. <laughs> it's fucking all out of order half the time. Looks like the Sasquatch video. Yeah, you'll tell me something, and I'll go, "Oh yeah, I had it backwards." I like my my you know. Yeah, totally. my, I mean, my memory is pretty good as far as like humans go. I mean, don't get me wrong; it's not like I yeah. have a below average memory. I mean, I could do an hour and a half of stand-up. I can recite all sorts of different things about fighters and statistics that I just know inside my head. Mm-hmm. My memory is actually very good. But it's, you know, it's, even it, for a very good memory, it's, it's shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like it's a shitty slideshow right. of your past. Well, yeah, <laughs> you it, can't, like, pull up your high school sweetheart the first time you were alone with her in the bedroom and she sucked your cock and you're like, holy <laughs> shit! And when you came so hard, your ears rang like... <laughs> Imagine if you could just pull that memory out again. You wouldn't get anything done. <laughs> oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah. That's probably what it is. But that would be real memory, man. That would be like fucking computer memory. Computer memory remembers. Yeah, I, you know? I got a memory of a, of a incident when I was a child. We had, we did foster care and we had uh, these two little girls staying with us, and one of the girls was Angela, and the only piece of this memory I have is doing the helicopter with her like she you know both we're hanging on both arms and extended and I'm swinging around like a helicopter blade and I let her go and she just went kind of twirling and knocked her teeth out that's all I remember (laughs) but when I recount the story to people I have to make up details and shit and where we were I don't know where we were or whatever but it's just like that's all I remember from that story I just have this image of this foster kid (laughs) flying through the air and knocking her teeth out oh it's, I'm a, I was a dick when I was a kid, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all your think, stories are like... <laughs> did, you get, was, <laughs> did you get bullied? Did anybody fuck with you or something? Uh, a couple of people, but yeah. I think most people didn't. I just kind of used humor to like disarm them, you know? But I think there but were a why couple... why were you so mean to those little kids? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't do it on purpose. Well, you just were 19 and it was just fun for you to tell <laughs> you crazy You think they would have looked into your history of crazy shit. They, <laughs> they wouldn't have let you be a counselor. <laughs> when, you're not, uh, when you're not trying to scare them, you're just assaulting them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm I got shitting on their chest and everything. <laughs> yeah, memory is like... If, you, if you're not thinking about it, you're like, oh yeah, I know what that person looks like. But then you really try to fucking focus. Like even people that you know, you're like, what is their face? Yeah. Like you have a photographic memory until you like try to harness it, and you're like, I don't. I do shit. not. I have a very good memory, but I, I do not have a photographic memory. But some people do, at least for dates and numbers and shit. Like uh, yeah. Mary Lou Henner from Taxi. Yeah, I've heard about that <laughs> for real. Yeah, she. Yeah, knows, I've like, heard every her on day. Stern, and he quizzes her about like what day was this 1970 whatever, and she could fucking tell you what day it was. Man. Yeah. There's she's like, got. She's one of like a, a small handful of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I met a guy in Tahiti who did that. It scared <clears throat> the shit out of me. Wow, that's amazing. He was just like, when he, he just like this old dude, and he just comes Jesus. up. And he's like, when, when's your birthday? And it's like, <laughs> June fourth, nineteen seventy. He's like, that was a Sunday. It's <laughs> like, okay, uh, that's uh, fucking right, crazy. Man. That's my birthday. That that June shit. 4th. That shit is real. Nineteen seventy-eight. Yeah. Hello. Seventy-seven. I have the. Go fuck yourself, man. How, how that weird? Was a wow. Saturday. What what happened? We <laughs> just went fuck. awry. I got angry. Oh, Jesus. I have the disability. How weird version. is that? That someone can do that? Yeah. I what don't the know. fuck is going on there? Is yeah, that like well, a next level of of human mind that's and, like and slowly why, popping out? And why is it they need to showcase this ability all the time? Because it's, it's awesome. Like, I got it's this great. knowledge. I have to get it out well, of my yeah. head. It probably helps them get ten percent more blowjobs. If you could do any do it all. Yeah, because I did blow the guy. Still a very small amount. <laughs> I blew the guy. Ten percent of one. Ten percent more. <laughs> well, that's a crafty trick. Why would you not use that trick if you could do that? Yeah. I'd be showing off like a motherfucker. With That's that. all I do. Like, get out your calendar, bitch. People wouldn't even know your name at a Can't party. Fuck They'd be like, with my memory, mother- son. The calendar guy. What's up? Memory yeah. man. It's the mind calendar <laughs> all up in this bitch show. That'd be funny if there were like as many people that could do that and talked about it that, that just didn't talk about it. You know what's not really funny, man? Uh, I had a, a friend of mine uh, who uh, met this dude who had this thing about the rainforest. It was set up like at Venice Beach, you know, just showing the deforestation of the rainforest and we got to stop this now. And he would grab people and he goes, if I guess your birthday, will you listen to me? And he guessed his birthday and he guessed his friend's birthday. Boom. Right away. 
First trot. He goes like May 7. And he goes, what the fuck? And he goes, Mike, get over here. Do him. Ha- handle it. Whatever. October 10. I'm making up more numbers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know which either one. Was. And I, I said this to Penn. Penn Gillette. He goes, well, there's ways to do that. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, man. You can't set that up. You can't set up a random dude who's an yeah. unknown dude, just a regular kid, 21 years old, happens to be walking down the street, and you can nail when his birth is. And then someone said, like, how many people do you have to have in a room before statistically they have uh, the same birthday? You would think, well, there's 365 days out of the year, and it will, I guess it's like one in three. No, it's like one in 23. Mm-hmm. But that's still... How the fuck do you guess two dudes' names or two two, two dudes' birthdays? I don't like even like dead on the re- day. I don't remember my parents' birthdays. Like, how can you guess someone else's yeah, birthday? That's, that's nutty. My the, sister that, texts me to this, tell me to tell my mom happy birthday. I forget. Yeah, yeah I don't remember that phone. shit. But this guy can you, meet you and t- guess with two guys if they're telling the truth. And I know he's telling the truth. I know the guy he does not lie. So if he's telling me that this really happened. There might be a guy out there that can do that. <laughs> That's just one thing he can do. Maybe he looks at you and he sees your fucking number over your head. He sees like 6, 7, 29. You know, he sees your birth date. He sees something. Guy needs to find a better job. Yeah. Well, maybe not. I mean, maybe if, if he really can get oh, people to listen the to him. For us, yeah. This sounds like a terrible, like, <laughs> he said, she said story. I really wish I was there <laughs> firsthand to have witnessed the whole thing. But I trust this dude. Very much so. So I, 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 I did. Pin Gillette like go into any no, re- reasoning? No, that's what drove me crazy. <laughs> like, how can you just guess two dudes? And, he just hears I'm something not crazy. Saying and he's like, "Yep, that you know those that the guy was 100 percent psychic." Yeah, but I'm saying, what if he was psychic? <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> there is a weird fucking like dreams are the same way. You can sort of there are people who dream things and then have it happen. So there is a weird above us thing there's there's energy above us that yeah. it, like that you can grab onto some you know how can you dream something and then have it happen that's fucking weird how many people do you know that have actually had that happen a uh, handful of people a lot of people are full of shit bro yeah and after things happen they're like i dreamed it happened <laughs> You know? Well, I don't know. I, I've that's taken like a great story. Yeah, a lot of people. No, statistically, so I've taken psychology classes, and there, are, there. Are, I mean, maybe that's just another thing, just like Sasquatch, where maybe it doesn't exist, and all these people say it does. But like statistically, there is, you know, a, a number of people who claim to have this happen to them. So, well, it could be. I mean, in things that you accomplish, it could be because you set your sights on that in the dream, yeah, and you manifested it with your own ability. Mm-hmm. But it was in within your grasp anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's a like, realistic. That's a realistic way of looking at it, but it, you know, who knows? Yeah. Who the fuck knows? I mean, I'm not saying you can. I mean, who knows? I mean, maybe maybe you can see the future. Maybe you can see little glimpses of it, and you don't believe it until yeah. it actually happens. Maybe first of all, who the fuck knows what you can do? I don't know what you can do. I don't even know. I, you know, I, I barely know how my brain works. Sometimes <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on when deja vu hits. Yeah, I feel like that's what deja vu is because you're like, I've been here before, but it was maybe, in a different state. But my point is, I can never assume that I have any idea what the fuck is going on inside your head. I, I <laughs> barely have mine figured out for me mm-hmm. like i don't know what's going on inside you i don't know who the fuck knows man your perceptions you ever meet a, a buddy that can't drink you, you you have a friend that like has one drink and they're and just gone they just they it, just yeah. they give you like shark eyes and they're just they're just gone they're not there anymore they just black you would think that how the fuck i don't know i don't know what's going on in there i don't know i don't know what's going on in his head but yeah. i know that that really does happen so what's his ride like you know I cannot assume that I have any idea what his ride is like. Yeah. To so be weird, like a seems crazed real, alcoholic. Those, that's, there's some people that are extreme alcoholics where it's one drink, gone. Mm-hmm. One drink and it's la la, magical mystery tour. Da-da. They just go off until they fucking black out. <laughs> yeah, they can't stop. They I have can't a friend stop. like that. Do you ever do the yeah. drink? The thing. Uh, this is something that I've never done, but it's common where people will have like one drink in the next morning to make them feel better. Is that something that you've ever experienced? Well, the, yeah, they like, say the hair have, of the dog, yeah. hair of the dog that bit you. Right? But that's like the last thing I would want to do because it would like make me barf or something. It's not really good for you. Which, no, it's not which good. You, what you but want is water. Yeah, but know? it's like softening the withdrawal s- symptoms. Because is that what it is? Withdrawal symptoms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If that's the case, I think you're already addicted, right? If you're getting withdrawal symptoms from yeah. a poisoning, 
Yeah, you yeah. know, you got went out and got poisoned last night. I mean, that's really what you did. Mm -hmm. And then if you're getting withdrawal symptoms from that, that means you're probably already addicted. So your issues. Alcohol are withdrawals are the only withdrawals that can kill you. That's a that's a true fact. Wow. So like. There are fucked up withdrawals that are like insane, like opiates and stuff like that, that are like are miserable, but you can like have seizures and die from alcohol withdrawals. That's incredible. Yeah. Isn't that what killed Amy Winehouse? I don't know. She stopped drinking? Probably. Pretty sure that's what killed yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucked. Isn't that crazy? Your body needs it. Did you sip on delicious, what do you, whiskey? So I'm when you get whiskey. really, when you get really, really uh, alcoholic, you have to uh, slowly wean yourself off. Is that what they do? I think, but it's you know that that's like years and years of like incredible abuse, you know. Whereas like there's probably not too many people that have years and years of like heroin abuse. You know what I mean? You, don't, yeah, you probably don't last you that? twenty yeah. years. It's it's so stunning this L.A. City Council thing. Do you know about this? Mm -mm. Fourteen ban, to over, yeah. The ban they're passing on all the medical marijuana dispensaries. I heard oh. about that. I haven't heard. Unanimous vote, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, no one's doing anything about liquor stores. They're, they're not doing. They're not touching liquor stores. You can buy whiskey at that grocery store. At Costco. Yeah. yeah. You could. Yeah. Can you buy at Costco? I might. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, you can. In Oregon, you can't. Like, there's certain states that it's all liquor stores are state owned. Yeah. But like California, Nevada, Arizona yeah, are Cal not. They have like a liquor aisle at some. <laughs> yeah, some they got like a really solid liquor aisle. At yeah. Bonds. You could get bonds. Yeah. You could drink yourself to death easy at CVS or yeah, bonds. CVS. They'll give you whatever you need to drink yourself to death if yeah. you really wanted to do it. Yeah, totally. You can die. At, yeah. Fuck you can die yeah. in a few hours. That's a real well, animal, son. Look at that shit. It could. Are you looking at the video again, Joe? It's a real animal. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone squatching. Like, well, not, like, that's the thing that's that gets me. If they throw just, a PhD next to someone's oh, yeah. name and he starts talking, I'm like, well, he's a PhD in literature. When you see a, a guy, he's I a got, PhD, but he has a turquoise <laughs> necklace on. Come on. A lot of those guys. There are fucking doctors who have had their, their degrees taken away from them. So. For squatching? <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. Too no. much squatching. No, I'm just saying. You can get your degree in something yeah. and then, and then have people loon. be like, all right, enough. Really? Yeah. That's good. So I, I say, yeah. four, can they write former PhD? <laughs> <laughs> formerly known as. Formerly known as. Used to be taken artist, seriously. Formerly known as. Yeah. Uh, Doctor as of Neuro. Super serious. <laughs> Mr. Super serious. <laughs> Yeah, that's a real animal sign. I'm guaranteed. <laughs> pretty much. Guarantees You're 100. percent I pretty love much, pretty the, much he flipped the turn <laughs> that it took. Yeah, yeah. That's before, very quoted I guarantee and quoted. it. Pretty much 100. <laughs> percent Pretty much 100. percent And before we started, you were like, "Look yes. at this bullshit! Look at Listen, this bullshit!" I've gone squatching. <laughs> Don't think you understand what's that, happening. That would be the if there was a, if it was filming before. Because it's a dramatic change. Yeah, I would go squatching if it was like a river, like it was like a float trip. Right. Because then you're just like fucking yeah, sitting. Yeah, but whenever you're on a horse, man, shit can get crazy. Yeah. If horses fall, they break their legs. You're fucked. You're you're holding on to another guy's. You limp to safety. <laughs> you gotta shoot that horse. Come on, man. That's gross. I just don't want the exercise. Wandering around on a fucking horse is for silly people. <laughs> No, I want to float on a river, like on yeah, a river, riding like a horse, on a, like on a raft. Do that. Yeah. Riding a horse in the woods is nonsense. It's yeah. pretty strenuous just for yourself. I would just, sometimes sitting, the horse falls, yeah, and then it falls on you. I feel guilty. And then everything the whole time. breaks. Yeah, alone in the woods, everything's broken because the horse fell on you. Yeah. yeah, I rode horses when I was much younger, but I feel like if I got on a horse now, I'd just be like, sorry. Sorry, I'm on you. You feel bad about yeah, it. Cause yeah, because I'm like, I'm way a lot. It is a douchey move. Just just like... Force some fucking <laughs> animal. Yeah. I'm in charge! Force some animal to carry you around with metal <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> I'm going to act sleepy. You quite, gallop. It's quite cunty. You know, and these... Uh, I have a... I live in an equestrian neighborhood. So there's like these ladies in my neighborhood that ride horses. Like just through the streets and stuff? You know, in Burbank, there's a lot of areas like that. Okay. They're, they're equestrian neighborhoods. So, like, you could ride a fucking horse they have, like, down, like, signs. a regular street. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all these women that just look like they just, fr they all get really thick around the middle. Uh -huh. And it's that just, I don't give a fuck weight. <laughs> it's like, they're not even trying to lose weight, you know, because they found out that they could ride this giant animal. Yeah. And it just makes them come. <laughs> so they, you these, think so? I know it does. I know it does. <laughs> well, that's how so some girls like dikey looking straight women have completely given up on cock. They just constantly pet these big animals <laughs> and ride this <laughs> big muscular animal and they get off on the saddle, man. I'm not bullshitting you. I bet they have vibrating saddles. I bet they do. <laughs> they got but, everything. But you, I bet they put, do. I bet you can get that. But you probably I put them Google on humans, right, right? What's that? You probably put the vibrating saddle on another human. That's probably a thing. No, I think it's for horses, man. 
But I think they they probably like to go bareback, bareback with like a light pair of sweatpants. <laughs> you would be you the would yoga be stretchy pants. Yeah, a lot of those bitches are hard, man. They're <laughs> lumberjack hands. <laughs> Their pussy is like lumberjack hands. Well, you think they would want to go riding by themselves, then, right? They would want to go on a solo you... ride. Yeah, they gotta. They want to go like on a bumpy road. Uh, 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 you know, just a little galloping to, to to get a steady motion and bang. And you see them as they're on my own street. You see them. They every now and then the legs stiffen up as they're walking. All there, smiles, no, they're getting off. All smiles. There are Dirty horses. Horse riding bitches. Like that's like uh, wealthy people doing that, right? There are people who ride no, horses. No, like, no, no, not necessarily. I mean, it's it's certainly not a poor person's game. Yeah. Oh shit! Joey Joe Diaz. Diaz is here, ladies and gentlemen. Joey Diaz, I need your opinion on this Bigfoot footage. Do you think this Bigfoot footage is a real animal? I'm, I'm starting to think this is a real animal. I'm not. He's still on that. Joey, we're, we're back. No, we're Joey, going I've gone squatching. Lot. I've been going squatching lately. Pretty sure this is a real animal, Joey. Hey, bro, is that the dude said? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> Dude, I looked up vibrating. What, cocksucker? What's up? Put away the whip, the potty's over. Or whatever. You're dead. I live in a town that's small enough that people ride their horses through my parents' neighborhood still. But because it's it's oh. a small town. <laughs> it's a small town. It's a small town. It's not yeah. like it's not right. like uh, LA ladies. Right, 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 right. Wearing their fucking like silly hats and the their hat, tan the pants. The hard hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The riding hat. It's like fucking like country western people. Yeah, it's that shit's dangerous, man. Have you been yeah. Joey? Haven't seen you in a long ass time. Powerful Joey, Joey Diaz. <laughs> oh, are you eating an edible? You fucking animal. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Joe. He eats edibles. Like, is that food or is that an edible? Joey, edible. That's the rest oh, of that candy Jesus. bar. Jesus, that candy bar is ruthless. <laughs> is it that candy bar threw me to the bottom of the Mariana Perfect. Trench. Perfect. I like it. I was, I was, I was down there with those e eels that light up. Like a light bulb, that's where I was. I was at the bottom of the ocean. I was so high, it hurt me. And we were doing a podcast. We were in the middle of this Honey Honey podcast. I was, like, I was like, my God, I can't believe how high I am. I love it when you eat an edible sometimes. Yeah. You get fucked up. <laughs> Dude, you think you got it hard in the comedy business, man? Talking to those people, those Honey Honey. Those guys are fucking talented. I don't know if you saw those guys when we had them on my podcast. The last time. Suzanne and Ben, really fucking talented. But that business is so tough, man. They're, they are just scratching by. They just drive around in a yeah, van and they're all opening the time. for Sheryl Crow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th these guys are killing it. Mm -hmm. They're opening for Sheryl Crow. And they're, they're still, everyone just, it costs so much money. Mm -hmm. you got to drive everybody around and to carry equipment and all this exactly, shit. And employees yeah. and... The money just gets eaten up, man. It's amazing. They have I know bands have had like the first album has been successful. And they're on the road opening. They're dying. They're breaking yeah. even. Breaking even. It's crazy. They come back, they got no fucking dough. Like, what do you mean? We got the number one album. Yeah, but oh. studio time, this, advertising. Yeah, man. well your mother's ass, this, <laughs> that, this. Next thing you know, you're fucking on the road for peanuts. Bro. We had uh, this rapper, Immortal Technique, on this week. Who we opened the show with. Yeah, great dude. And he broke down what, what the uh, contracts, why they're, one of the th reasons why they're so bad is that, say if the artist gets 10%, all the expenses come out of his money. His angle. All the expenses come yeah. out of your money. That's fucked up. Yeah, it's like when they're like, well, we're taking 10% out of the, the big number. Yeah. And every time it goes down, we're still taking 10% out of the big number. Yeah, so it, it's like there's it's, all sorts of ways to fuck you. It's incredible. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Unless you're headlining and music. Like, I remember the first time I seen Cheryl Crow. She was doing a free show before her album came out in Boulder. Wow. A free show. The album was just out. It was her and uh, Big Head Todd and the Monsters. This is fucking 94. She was eating shit. Half a year later, she was headlining. That album hit. All I want to do is have some fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so it's amazing either you could fucking die or it's tough. And now the music business really blows because in the old days you made money on the road and you made money from record sales. Mm -hmm. Record sales are history. They give that away. So you lost that whole income unless you're Rihanna or, you know. Yeah, most young artists are just like free, I got, free albums. I yeah. got in a really silly argument with a dude over uh, all I want to do is have some fun. 
<laughs> yeah. Because I was like, look, that's a good song. It is a good song. It's a good song. All like, our music is approved. Yeah. It was a good song. Yeah. I'm like, it doesn't. He's like, it's fucking nonsense. It's just like nonsensical horseshit fucking pop song. Like, no, no, no. It's like, a, 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 what is it? Joy DV or whatever it is. Zest of life. You know, I mean, it's, no, it's not. It's just having fun. All I want to do is have some fun. What do you, is there something better than that? Do you know something? Is crying better? What's better? Reading a book? What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? She's saying she wants to have some fun. That's like the divine aspiration. Everybody wants to have some fun. So she's saying she wants what everybody wants. And you got a problem with that? You think that's vapid? You silly bitch. It's like that's a worthy goal. What's that song we were kids that came out? <laughs> I hear it once a month. I don't care how old I get. It still gets me going. What's that? Uh, what was that fucking redhead? Uh, girls just want to have fun. Oh, yeah. That's just a chick want to yeah. have fun. Yeah. Listen to the fucking song. The organ, Lou Albano is in the video. The phone rings in the middle of it. How Lou about Albano. Delight? Groove is in oh, the heart. That's the greatest that's of all time. So that's so fucking that's, that's, Brian, will you put that on, please? It's so amazing I can watch when that girl dance. You could be, I want to watch that girl dance. You I could be in a fucking terrible mood and listen to that <laughs> shit. <laughs> That bitch is hot. Something else is playing. Let me playing. hear it. Let me hear it. Wait, let something else it. is playing at the same ad. time. There's like an ad or something going on. Hold on. Let me take, uh, there we go. I take this off. And meanwhile, you can see the Bigfoot is clearly real. Right here? Me? Oh, Like there's so many things going on right now. Yeah, like you got some hammers going on in the background. <laughs> what the fuck? You got some drums playing? Is that <laughs> I don't the know. Bigfoot footage? That's what you get for you, you get too much porn, you get fucking viruses, dude. You get a <laughs> drum virus. virus. <laughs> you get you're infected windows. by an African drum virus. <laughs> 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 that shit is, man. Oh, I found it's it. interrupting Cheryl Crow. Yeah, I found it. What was it? It was iTunes fucking oh. having some fun iTunes sometimes just decides to start, start. itself up. Yeah. yeah. It happened that one podcast, yeah. remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just started playing a song. I like that drummer's shirt. Look at that butt. <laughs> yeah, the drummer. <laughs> what the fuck's up with that guy? Your ass got big, Jack. Yeah. That's after that dude that rode the bike was shooting those steroids sperm in a fucking little bubble. <laughs> <laughs> He was shooting those one nut wonders in her ass. They were coming ah! out with little fucking syringes and shit already. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is this pain in my asshole? Ah! There's a little syringe sperm coming at you, cocksucker. You ate at 11 o'clock. Let's just remember that. Let, let us know once you start feeling that. And I, I got the, some more edibles for you, too. If you, right, you where's know. the reefer at? You should pass that motherfucker here. Shoot There's, that poison. Joey, arrow. you think this is really Bigfoot? <laughs> oh, God. Would you stop with the Bigfoot? Would you stop? I saw, is there a joint over there, Joe? Or should, should I pack? Here, I can pack up this drink? bowl. What is that? Is that? Like it's uh, some rye. Some rye whiskey. God. Would you like some, sir? No, 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 no. Okay. You, Jesus fucking Christ! I saw Honey Honey like three years ago at Largo. Oh, really? Uh huh. And they were awesome. They're so they were so like nice they were kind of paired up with this uh, this comedy uh, group. Uh, who was it? The guy you know, the guy who played. Uh, <coughs> Uh, Naked Trucker and you know like T-Bone and Naked Trucker what's his fucking name um, he played uh, Rosso on Freaks and Geeks yeah um, like, he has really long hair he's a comedy actor and you've seen him in like, everything I've, I've probably seen him yeah yeah but, I don't know but there's like a there's like a comedy trio of another guy that I know and him and, and then Honey Honey and it was like there's an intermission it was like a super cool show wow and and We've been thinking about doing something like that with them here. Yeah. If they w- if they would do it, you know, they play a couple songs like on one of our nights. Everlast and Immortal Technique. Yeah, but I mean, we can have Honey Honey come on like a comedy yeah. show. Even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good but, thing about musicians that can sound yeah. good anywhere. Like, they could just play at a comedy club. Yeah. And just like fucking play. Well, one of the things Brian and I talked about was doing something like radio stations do. Like K Rock has like they'll have like a, a concert, a K Rock concert, and then they take the artists and they donate all the money like. You know, we could do one, maybe. To boob. I think we should do all do boob cancer. We could do anything, but but that would be a cool thing to do, and it would be fun. And it would be fun for us, too. Like, we could watch other people perform, mm-hmm. you know? watch That That'd would be, be fun. fun. Yeah, that would be, be really great, fun. you know? Do it at the House of Blues Sunset. Yeah, something like that. And <laughs> make, it a, make it a little party. 
You know, why not, right? Yeah. Fuck it. And then you could advertise on the... You know, oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that billboard right in front of the comedy store. <laughs> I'll advertise the podcast on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> I hope you do that. That would oh, be so not, fucking funny. It's not a matter of... It's if. not a lot of money, dog. People don't look yeah. at Twitch. They don't really know what a billboard yeah. costs. It's not a lot of money. It's Really? It must. Not a lot of money. It you must know, happen. For a you know billboard? Who sells advertising for cable? Mike Ricker. Yeah. From New York State. And he was telling me if people only knew what they could do from fucking 11 to you could fucking advertise and you still get people. It's cheap. You get a package. You don't know. Couple fucking billboards. Forget about it. Forget about it. I'll get Forget a billboard. About it, What's going on with the weed Forget stores? They ain't closing. Dick! They're not closing? They're not? You don't think so? What's going to happen? Listen. What's the word on the street? They're going to fucking close uh, a bunch of them down, but they're going to leave 178 of them open. And those 178 got nothing to do with Uncle Joey. But why know? did they, why should they be able to shut any of them down? Why are they shutting them down? Are they shutting they down shut like the shit. newer ones? Because I remember that yeah. was a thing That's for a while. That's the supposedly going to shut the newer ones, the ones that aren't licensed, which I understand. You know, I'm pro and con for them in, in, in all ways. I like smoking weed, but I go to this nice restaurant and they're expanding. Great little Puerto Rican fucking joint in the valley. But next to it, they opened up a weed store. So every time I got to go and I got to see fucking homies with their hats and three fucking brothers with a white chick listening to Biggie Loud and shit. So who the fuck's going to go to the restaurant? Right. Yeah. You follow me? So these yeah. people got to learn how to fucking act. It's not yeah. the weed store. They, these motherfucking savages got to learn how to act. Blow the fucking yeah. thing. Put a neck brace on once yeah. a week. You know, don't take it for fucking granted. <laughs> Go in there with a fucking eye patch. Do something. I, Fake the funk. Do I heard something. the difference. No, just being disrespectful. I heard that's the, the whole thing. I heard the difference was that they're only closing the dispensaries, but not the collectives. The collectives. And the ones I w- w- went to was a collective, meaning they they grew weed. They also had like this thing where you could put, bring in canned food goods. I don't know oh, what. The, really? Di- yeah, that's there was cool. Yeah, there was no. I don't know what the difference was on paper, except that they could grow. And I heard that they're not closing those down or the, the delivery services like L.A. Speedweed. Listen, and Oak, Oak I've Dam, seen, the, I've down. seen the collect. Oaks of Dam had a fucking <clears throat> reality show where they count eighty fucking thousand dollars a day. You make eighty thousand dollars a day. Somebody's there. and it was great. Count. They did yoga there. They did acupuncture there. Yeah. They did comedy there. They had three floors where people, Tony Hinkliff in the fucking house. Uh, Tony Bigfoot or a suit? <laughs> <clears throat> Tell me. Come look at this. I originally thought it, that that was a, uh, a guy in a suit, and then I found out the footage was from what, 68? Yeah, 60 something. They didn't have suits like that in 68. That's uh, that, I think it's like yeah, a gorilla did. that got out of a zoo. Yeah, Wizard of Oz suits look, in look at the way its body's moving. <laughs> look at the way like the muscles in its back. It almost looks like you could see where the waistband meets the shirt mm-hmm. on that suit. A little bit, but that also could just be an <laughs> ass muscle. What if it's a, a Sasquatch wearing a gorilla suit? What are you <laughs> and he's just fucking playing a I'm prank. I'm you know? my fucking mission on this planet. You know what I'm saying? I think, th- I think that might be a real animal. I'm not bullshitting. Well, here's a... What, when was Wizard of Oz? 1929 or something like that? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> and... I think it's I'm, I'm just waiting for the tweets right now. These fucking idiots. I mean, if you look at the yeah, if you look at the no, cowardly line, squatch. if you look at the cowardly line, in the God is watching right forever. I can tell them I'm trolling, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, wow, you're right. It was the See? Cowardly Lion. Yeah, and that was like 1920s. Yeah, but look how shitty that suit looks compared to the fake Bigfoot. Yeah, foot. give it... Look at that thing. Know. Look at the How's stupid folds in the leg. Wagon? Yeah, yeah that that is tail of the Look at the oh fucking tail. God, That's precision right there. Yeah. Fake as fuck. If that tail was dead, then it'd be fucked up, but his yeah, tail is a moving. a dude above him with a wire. <laughs> That's a bad... Mo- you don't see the wire, though. Yeah. <laughs> You it's didn't. not like Superman, the black and white episode. And they couldn't have guys with wires? Everybody was so excited that the fucking tail moved. <laughs> look, we made the tail move. It's 1950 <laughs> something. I can't believe what the it. Fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at it's this. It's 1950 something. The tail was moving. That's yeah. magic right they there. They had to sing and fuck up their movies back then. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't just I have like a movie. Everyone had to break, break out into. Really unrealistic thing. If there was no singing in Mary Poppins, yeah, it would just be thing a fucking lion singing at you. What? What's going on here? Tonight, I've seen something tonight that I've never seen a magician do or nothing, Joe Rogan. What? I went to see The Exorcist at the fucking uh, oh. Geffen Theater, right? Or the play. 
This bitch elevate. You know who plays his mother? Brooke Shields. Oh, they did a, um, um, wait a, a minute. Play. A play? I went to the play tonight. A play of the action? Fuck yeah! Fucking tremendous! Holy shit. At the end the fucking cross. He kills himself. Oh, my God. The priest kills himself. Yeah. And the cross starts bleeding. I mean, it's fucking, yeah, I fucked up. I should have ate a cookie. <laughs> the the <laughs> fucking chick shit. is like, the chick is telling him, suck my succulent pussy. You oh fucking my God. faggot. At the Geffen Playhouse? Oh, and all these people, you know, the Ge Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. This bitch was raw, but Brooke Shields <laughs> played the mother. That's pretty, that's wow. wild. That's I'm fucking like, great. Something's got to be going on here with in Brooke? Hollywood. Brooke, the fucking Richard Chamberlain played the old priest, which is fucking beautiful. What's got to be going on with Brooke? What are you, what are you insinuating? Nothing. It was just great. She's, but she's coming part, out of her shell? I don't know, but there's a part of the fucking <laughs> thing where the chick, the baby elevates. The exorcist. Oh, really? I look for strings. I've seen the fucking catapult. Was Brooke Shields like supposedly religious there. or something? Yes. Was she supposedly re religious? In this movie? In no, this Brooke play? Shields in real life. Was she religious or I something? I don't know. What do I don't know. What the fuck why did I, religious why do I feel like she was religious? Maybe she's Scientologist. Scientologist. Yeah, maybe. No, I feel like she was a Christian. Joe, did you ever watch this? Be just talking the Dark ass. Side of the Rainbow, where it's like they took Pink Floyd and Wizard of Oz, no, put it together. Really? Oh, that's right, and it, it works, it right? It syncs yeah. up the whole movie, yeah. How, what is that? Right there, right behind it's, you. It's the craziest thing ever. I'm so glad you brought this up. <laughs> this is like the most mysterious thing to me. Yeah, ever, it really way, is. And out of everything ever. Because this happened first, <laughs> this hit movie. And then they made the best-selling album of all time at the time. The only album that sold more is Thriller from Michael Jackson ever, all time, greatest-selling albums. Number two is Dark Side of the Moon from Pink Floyd. And this matches up with this movie the entire time perfectly. Even lyrics at points yeah. and the beats and everything. It's so fucking creepy. I'm going to yeah. trip my balls off for this right now. This, is like, uh, uh, this fucking thing. I've do you think they balls. did this on purpose? No, they said that they, they, they did. said that they didn't. And yeah. it seems oh my like god, the fade. Oh, oh have you oh, not seen this joke? Oh, that, no. Dude, you fucking need to eat some mushrooms. First of all, just give me a little volume. Man. How good is this goddamn song? God, check yes. this out. Damn. Check this out. Watch this. It gets. It, I mean, there's a few th really creepy things in here. How good is this goddamn song? I love it. Start, yeah, start Pink running. Floyd with a shit. Which one was like? Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. If you want to watch this at home, go on YouTube. It's on the full thing. Dog, when you're tripping and you hear this heartbeat in the back, it sends you. That's the music of Pink Floyd. They just got that heartbeat. Boom, boom. There you wow, go. The inner so light. Crazy. Boom, boom. And you see the evil music because that evil witch chick. Let it go, Brian. Don't turn this yeah, off. Don't, this you fuck don't with this. fucking turn this off. Don't at all. touch this. This is the best. Oh, wow. How good is this fucking music? You know it's coming. You know what I'm saying? Wait, watch when you have. This I think song cool gives happens. you a nice long this wait for it too. Let's see what happens when it kicks in. I just like how it's like evil, sinister music because that chick's in the room. This is a f badass fucking song. Fuck yeah. Taking away the moments that make up a dull day. They're talking about the goods, cocksuckers. She's <laughs> trying to steal the dog. Shorter of breath. Watch this. One day she goes outside with a bridge. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. Don't take Toto, you sons of bitches. Here we go. Go outside, Doris. The dog day, taking away the dog day. <laughs> Take away the hours in a long time break. What, cop suckers? <laughs> oh, 
a piece of ground in your hometown Waiting for something or something to show you the way Fucking Where's head. those mushrooms? Let me pop a fucking <laughs> shroom cap. Let's do this, bitches. That's a headphone That's album. The beginning. I mean, that part of that song with the drums kicking. God tremendous, damn, tremendous, is that good? Tremendous, tremendous. Oh, it hurts. It's so good, it hurts. It's a fuck. And they did four or five of those monsters in a row, Pink Floyd. That's the scary thing. They should take their fucking brains and keep them in science museums and break it down now I'm good I'm and they stoked. did it back when you could make a lot of money as a musician before yeah. the music industry wired it down Pink Floyd made a lot of wow. fucking money man five hours that's, that's what's playing around this part yeah he has a um, watch when she opens the door I remember didn't this they part. do a thing at the Staples Center just recently I don't know or at the Forum one of the, the dudes <laughs> one of the they dudes did the from, wall not Dark Side of the Moon yeah yeah but the, the Pink Floyd guys one of the guys from Pink Floyd, I forget which one he was, but he had a million-dollar Ferrari. Awesome. They had it on this TV show. Mm-hmm. They were driving it around. It's a million dollars. That's ridiculous. It's an Enzo. It cost a million dollars. Watch when she opens More than a million. Really, Jeez. it's like a million, a hundred thousand or something. Dude, but she opened the other door. <laughs> Fucking rich you have to be, dude, to buy a million-dollar car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is incredible how much this is synced up. <laughs> God damn, this is good! <laughs> oh, Jesus. This guy in the comments actually uh, posted all the, the the ones that were really crazy. Like, Brian, like you thing. touch that again, Jesus. I'll break that fucking thing and put money back on, <laughs> I, sucker. I was this. on a flow here. Check this out. Let me get a water for a little feed you, bro. Tornado. That's pretty good fucking special effects for Fuck, the yeah. fucking, what, 1920s, 
Yeah. It's so cool that someone put that together because, like, in high school when there was no internet and you hear that's about, just on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You hear you hear about Dark Side right. of the Moon all the time, yeah. but it's impossible because you don't know the sync point and you can't right. just Google it. Like right. in 1996 or whatever, right? You can't just Google it. So somebody puts it together and you forgot about it for so long. I saw that the other day. It's, it's awesome. amazing how good it works. Yeah, I'm watching it when I get home. Guaranteed. Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the most awesome thing ever. It's blown <laughs> my mind since the first time I saw it. I'm a huge, huge, huge Pink Floyd fan. They're my yeah. favorite band of all time. Sure. So to try to think of how that matches up like that it's incredible. it drives me insane i, I can't if figure they it did out did it on purpose no, they, didn't. they definitely didn't no they 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 it's, they it, interviewed tony is such a, a huge pink floyd fan one night we got pulled wow. over leaving the comedy store and he's driving my car i'm super <laughs> wasted <laughs> what you don't don't tell, tell the, story? the story bro yeah, let's just, yeah, dude, let's, let's just, just cheese it on the fucking story, bro. What Don't did I do, it? Pete? What did I Nothing. do? Nothing. Anybody? Moving on. Someone doesn't want a story told. It's not a bad story. It's a bad enough story. All right. Yeah. He just didn't turn the music down when yeah. the cop asked for I was the license. Li- I was listening he, to like, Pink Floyd. He was listening to Pink Floyd, and he didn't All turn the, the music out. down. And the cop's like, license and registration, and it's just like money blasting. <laughs> <laughs> he kept it cranking? Yeah, he didn't turn it down. It was shine on you crazy diamonds. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> just cranking. License Did and registration. Because it's like air to me. It just <laughs> no, sounds that's, like... That's it. That's the story? Any, yeah. any other music I would have heard I mean, really, turned Did it you down. get a ticket? No. no they let us go. The guy was a, a there was, Pink there, Floyd fan. There was, there was nothing that happened that was bad. I so. know. It's just, I just... He made the story bad because he interrupted it, but... Well, I thought you yeah, left I, something I, out because yeah. it seems oh, so oh, oh, you do want me to tell... Oh, I know what you do not want me to tell. There it is. Jesus Christ, son. Jesus man. What the fuck? Jesus fucking winky over there. Winky nudge nudge. You shitty fucking secret keeper. <laughs> this <God. laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me tell some stories about Pete. I don't know. Yeah. Who's, who Josh, is knock him out. <clears throat> Did you make Dermot on stage? How's the, how's the crowd in there? Amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's great. It's awesome. so much fun. Mm. It's packed, too. Powerful. Um, so <clears throat> then it's uh, jo- Josh, then Randy, then me. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, but, but, I remember but, showing that Dark Side of the Moon Wizard of Oz thing to my friends when we were in high school, like seniors in high school, and we all got real. And you know how then you get really high. Mm-hmm. We smoked some pot and watched that, and uh, I felt like it was one of the coolest things that I've ever shared with someone. I guess I've never shared really cool things with anyone, but right. I just find it to be mind blowing. I think it's the greatest coincidence of all time. What's the sync point though? The coincidence. There's got to be a sync point. Or does it just work no matter when you start? It works. It? It's supposed no, to be. It's what I remember <laughs> was something like the music starts. If it's a at coincidence, the then yeah, it would the work start. no matter what you, you hit, did. You right? hit play on the CD player on the second roar of the MGM Lion at the beginning when it goes. That's what it is. Roar. And that's when you hit play. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God, this is scary. <laughs> I know exactly. It is. It's like it's we can insane. never figure that out. We can never figure that. The Fibonacci sequence. sequence, man. It's the fucking universe sending you a message. It's all code. They also have. We live in a simulation. They also have it for Alice in Wonderland, but I haven't verified how awesome it, uh, it is. It can't be as good. No, that was if pretty If it is, sweet. then the universe will implode in front of my eyes. Oh, the cartoon. <laughs> for some reason, I automatically... Then I'll be convinced I'm, I'm actually living in a dream. Here's, uh, here's uh, says that. At uh, 11.43, the drums start just as they say they come to shore. Is that what they got? Digging away the moments that make up a dull day. The second one is then at 1200 digging around on a piece of the ground. All right, I kind of see that. Yeah. Beside the fire, uh, beside the fire, he's lighting a cigarette, cigar. Well, yeah, well, in uh, it's not as good. In the, yeah, the right, region. in the Wizard region. of Oz one, yeah. it's like uh, there's one part where you know when the Wicked Witch is with the Good Witch. That one part where, like, the house lands on whoever. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then they're both there for the first time together. Like, the lyrics are like, and you can't tell. Or, like, it's like, a, and which one's which? Well, the at one. the same moment that they're both on the screen. And it ends. That oh, thing yeah, ends right. with the CD, uh, with it, just the heartbeat that it comes in with. Right. And it's just, zip, And that's right at the moment in the movie where Dorothy puts her ear up to the Tin Man's empty heart. Are you serious? What? I swear to God. Look oh at the ending of yeah, it. Yeah, pull that up again. I gotta go bring up the next comic. You guys Go to the witch that. part. Oh, 
What a goddamn song. I'm like rooting for my mind not to be blown. Yeah, right. <laughs> What? There is no dark side in the moon, really. Matter of fact, it's all dark. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Listen, I'm way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Way too high. That's not cool. We were all staring at the screen just waiting for something. They yeah, faded out know. before the big payoff. Yeah, I know. He faded out. That's pretty sweet. It's amazing. How the fuck does that happen? How did somebody find out yeah. about it is yeah. what I want to know. Oh, wow. Well, it must be coincidental. Not, it seems not sober. Trip. <laughs> it <laughs> seems like they sober. would just deny it to just keep the lore going, you know? Yeah. Well, like, why not just they say They can't it? deny it. It's right there. I mean, how can you deny it? I mean, I mean, they, they did it on purpose. I don't think they did it on purpose. They they asked him before, and they th- said some. If I remember correctly, they were like, "Oh, that's stupid," or something. Like they they blew it off as like that's dumb. Yeah, I think if they did do it on purpose, they would say that they did because <laughs> that'd be an impressive feat, you know. Yeah, if you look at it, though, unless my you just God. love the story, yeah, it's what the perfect lineup, the I mean, perfect yes. algorithm. You wrote the it, screaming yeah. and then the dream sequence. Yeah. That's crazy. Dude, when she opened yeah. the doors yeah, both times crazy. and. The changes, yeah. they're, they're amazing. It's, um, it's insane. Yeah. It doesn't even make I'm, sense. I'm definitely watching uh, it when I get home. It says it's the, third, the ro- third lion roar. CD on repeat. <coughs> plays about three times, I believe, somebody just said. if You, you can li- play the whole CD and it goes with it three times. Oh, my God. Three different times it works? Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Now, that's crazy. Now you just how like, long is the CD and how long is the movie? Yeah, yeah. really. What is the movie? Five hours long? How is that <laughs> possible? Well, is no. that just the rhythm of things? Well, what is, what is that? I don't know. Is it, can you just do that with a, any good song? <laughs> I don't know. There's, we should try with like yeah, we the, should just the Harry's Harry's out. Out. Every Led Zeppelin Sunday. album. The crazy thing is like the, 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 the girl screaming while the tornado was going on. I mean, that was really perfect. The perfect kind of wailing tornado music. And then to have... Uh, her dream sequence, the perfect dream sequence. Like, yeah, right when she falls down on the yeah. bed, it goes low. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah. Right. Meanwhile, we find out. It's just the ultimate troll. Like, pink yeah, that's what I was just going to say. We find out we're totally hosed. It doesn't sync <laughs> up at all. They totally they edited it. They edited everything. It's just to mind fuck you. Right. <laughs> I want to try one here. What, are you doing a new song to a different movie? Yeah. I'm going to do... Uh, Could be a breakthrough. <laughs> I know, right? It could be. <laughs> like, dude, there's so many songs that link up with so many movies. All right, let's do Jay Z and Jimi Hendrix uh, mixed up. Oh, now you're getting into mashups. These guys are brilliant yes. too. But well, I'm not for bad shit. for you, son. I got, got 99 and problems, the movie. but the bitch ain't one. I got the rap patrol on the gap patrol. Foes that want to make burger. sure my cast is closed. Rap critics <laughs> say he's money cash <laughs> shows. From the hood, stupid, what type of facts are those? If you grew up with hoes and you're zapped with toes, you celebrate the minute you was having dough. I'm like, fuck critics, you can kiss my whole asshole. If you don't like my lyrics, you can press fast forward. I got beat with radio if I don't play they show. They don't play my hits. Well, I don't give a shit, so... Rap Max try and use my black ass So advertisers could give them more cash for ads Fuckers, I don't know what you take me as Or understand the intelligence that Jay-Z has I'm from rags, the richest niggas, I ain't dumb I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one Hit me! There must be some kind of way out of here Some way out of this, this horrible movie 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one Hit me! There's too much confusion <laughs> You're making me retarded by watching that. <laughs> All right, we'll just skip ahead and see if it goes. Oh, it's a bitch. This doesn't really work the same way. All right, so Good Burger and uh, Jay-Z do not go together. How many, yeah, well, <laughs> how many views does that have? A Good Burger? I mean, how can you compare that to The Wizard of Oz? That's ridiculous. 
It was a joke. When is Joey going up? Uh, he's not until three more comics, four more comics. Who's on right now? Uh, Randy is just about to go up. Is McDermott on? Uh, McDermott just got off stage, I think. But they should be coming back in here. You want to take callers, Joe? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough interaction with other humans through Twitter and message boards. <clears throat> Last thing you need is calls. Yo, dude. Bro. We've never done that. Yo, We've never dude. Taking callers. With, with Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, dude, just thinking about... It's called Doug Stanhope. <laughs> bro, yeah. Come on, you're back. <laughs> just thinking about shooting a little in your back, bro. Like, right now, if you took callers, everyone would be like, oh, that shit, that shit was crazy. Wizard of Oz was crazy. It would be back-to-back. Crazy, right. bro. That shit's crazy. You know, my dad worked for NASA, and he told me that they had known about this in the 60s. That there's a coincidental algorithm. Yeah, after watching The Wizard of Oz, I <laughs> believe it's Sasquatch, I think. They discovered yeah, this that at was NASA's the Applied the Science Research Center. Yeah. <laughs> That's where Bruce Banner worked on his Hulk serum. Same lab. What do you want to work on today? Hulk serum or syncing up Pink Floyd to <laughs> Wizard of Oz? Well, I love that you're Hulk looking up. Hulk serum's done, so let's just do the Pink Floyd. Could you I ever do the magic eyes stuff? Did you, did you, were you guys be able to? I've never been able to do that. What's really? The magic it's eyes just stuff? like, the, remember that movie Mall Rats? That's me specifically. Yeah. Where, you, where you look at a, a photo and then you oh, yeah. trick your eyes into, into seeing Who can't the do that? Oh, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. You can't do that? Who can't do that? Yeah. I, want I, think, to I think it's just that you can do it. Who can't, Brian? Everyone can the do guy it. guy next to you, Billy. I can oh, do it. All right, try to what? do this one. For sure, for sure. I'm positive. Wow. I've tried. It's like the most frustrating thing. I don't know. That's a shark or a dolphin. You can see I it got automatically. A bad angle, yeah, I just saw it. You already seen it, right? Yeah. He 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 googled it. No, I swear <laughs> to God, I, I just put typed in magic eye. Now is it supposed to pop out as one? I swear I cannot. Is it a bunch of tiny ones? No, it's just one in the middle. Oh, okay, I just did no. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. From here. Huh? But yeah. Oh no, you know what? Maybe no, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? It's right in the middle. It's a it's a dolphin or a shark. <laughs> What's the fucking trick? To, I can't do it. You just gotta stare at it. But I mean, I think I got a bad angle, maybe. But I'm, uh, let's see if I can do it. Or I don't care. Let me try to do the monitor that's across the room. Let's see if I can do it over there. It's too, it's too far, far, man. Oh, this is gay. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> stop. Anyway, right I think I saw a Sasquatch over there. <laughs> this that was is like a very the, squatchy this area. A Sasquatch in, in this the, is a Sasquatch. Uh, no, I'm not joking. No, I'm joking. I'm not joking. This is a very squatchy area. Um, anywhere you see trees, it's very squatchy. <laughs> <laughs> trees are squatchy, man. You see, there's two trees across the street. I mean, the fuck? There's a, two. Fake, there's a fake tree right there's there. There's two trees. Oh, they, Sasquatch especially likes fake trees. We should get a Sasquatch fucking dummy here. Fake trees are, you know, are very, very squatchy. No. <clears throat> get a squatch. I'm telling you, man, this shit is real. Let's watch uh, it again. I don't know about that. <laughs> You're starting to convince me yeah. slowly. Like, yeah, you just keep watching it's it. It's the power. Uh, yeah, he watched it so many times back to back to like, back. Yeah. It's not what I thought it was. I thought it was total horse I still shit. feel like under the butt, yeah, I, I see know. the... It's like yeah, but cloth you know what? folding. But what if, maybe, but that also could be just Whoa. a bend of hair. That could be his ass. Somebody just texted me. Look at those me. muscles in the back. Like, <laughs> Somebody just moving? texted me, hey, I'm at muscles. the Bigfoot Lodge, which is the bar. Yeah, see? <laughs> If you want to come hang out, what is back? Uh-uh. What are the, what are the that odds? didn't happen. I swear to God, yeah. look, what's look the, read the last text. Back? text yeah, I don't really see anything flexing though. That's the thing it's for me. Moving as his arms oh are God. moving, not like a suit. It's moving like muscles. Wow, did you see? You uh, we should probably just in this podcast. You catch that? <laughs> no, you already said something. Logs. Somebody just texted me, "Hey, at the Bigfoot Lodge, if you want to come have a drink, which is a bar that's in right like, now." I just Glendale. got that text. It's in Glendale. We're talking about Bigfoot. Maybe there's a dude who has a bar, and they all sit around and tell Bigfoot stories. That would be fun. Like he owns it, he's just there. Isn't that? Just you're only welcome if you got a good Bigfoot story. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> me and my uncle, we was camping, hunting elk. <laughs> Everyone's seen him like one time. We heard this yelp in the woods. No. Yep. <laughs> I love the one episode where they go to like the town hall meeting yeah. and they got all the people in there. Is anyone seeing evidence of a squatch? Yeah. Everyone in the room is like, yes. Well, you I know. told him when he, we had, when he had him on the show, I said, dude, you got to bring me. You got to bring me when you interview those people because some of those people are full of shit. And I can tell you who's lying. I'll right. be able to tell you right away who's lying. All right. Just 
you cannot just take all their work. He was he had these people up there that just making shit up as he went along. Yeah, you can see it. Like um and yeah, and the Bigfoot uh he, he just like jumped up right here. Yeah, <laughs> like one of your buddies that's a bad liar. You're they just like, come on, dude. No, that, that didn't up. happen. You didn't see no Bigfoot stupid. Fuck no. But I'm not saying nobody saw it, but that guy didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. You know, Probably know. nobody. His look face just thing. says, I'm... Come on, man. Look at that thing moving. That That is weird, man. That's an ama- that, If that's a suit, that's an amazing suit. Because it it, it shows you the muscles. Where's your ideas go? Listen, cocksucker. <laughs> I can't be sitting around while Rogan's talking about fucking Bigfoot wearing a gone squatching hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking grown man. Look at that. See the way that thing? I'm going to try to find him. So go back to that part. That just, it looks like this, it has souls. Like, the Make suit so? has... Yeah. Someone is a party pooper. Okay, let's take a look at it. Like when his foot's... Yeah, it's very blurry. And, uh, it's like a Bigfoot onesie. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's very blurry, but yeah, I see what you're saying. I don't believe that guy. Well, that That's guy, good, yeah, he has a picture of himself on his necklace. What is it? It's his mom, made uh, out of ivory. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it looks like Scrimshaw. He's got Scrim. Like, look at that. That looks very realistic, man. The way that thing's moving, like compared to what like suits looked like back then. Look at that, man. That that is very realistic. I'm, I, I, I'm not bullshitting here. When you look at that thing as it's walking away, you look at those last couple frames, that does not look like a suit at all. Look at that. That does not look like a suit, man. That looks like a big fucking gorilla. It does look like a really strong back, but I mean, he's <laughs> just so leech. It's like a, he's a, it's, I know it sounds retarded. It I know. Totally it sounds retarded. How does Bigfoot have like the most lethargic walk ever? He don't give a fuck. He's just doing his thing in the jungle? I mean, it, we're, we're comparing it to the amount of space that he had to cover. What if a person walked right there? Maybe, look at that. Look at the way that thing's built, man. That's kind of crazy. Because look how fucking long its arms are. Yeah, but I mean, the hands seem floppy, you know? Maybe. Like, well, well, I think if he had a, a costume, your arms aren't that long, so the end would flop around, right? Maybe. I mean, it could be fake hands, but it doesn't look like it. And the thing is, in, in the video, there's, there's moments where you can see the hands open and close. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> it might be just I'm a giant, this so many a giant dude uh, who's huge. He would have to be a really big guy, and he'd have to be yoked as fuck. And then he's in some skin-tight suit, so it like shows his muscles. But I honestly don't think they had suits that sophisticated back then. This, I and mean, this if was, you look at the size could, of the foot compared... This was released in 67? Those giant feet, too. It's blurry, you know, yeah, it's no. moving, it's hard, it's hard to tell. Is that what it was, 72? Who's 60, the guy? 67. 67, oh, yeah. yeah. Who's the guy that said he was in the suit? What's he look like? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how big this really is? You know, you're yeah. looking at... It's hard to make a real perspective. It could be five feet tall. As long as it's walking upright, it might, you know, you don't really... You can't really tell from a video. That'd be great. But it looks, whatever it is, is yoked as fuck. Like, look at the muscles on that goddamn thing. Like, those are weird muscles. Like, its back is thick as fuck. Like, you'd see the crest in the middle, and you see these big-ass back muscles. That's not easy to fake, man. If you tried to fake that, it would look really stupid. Yeah, he moved all the shit, or I would put the image on the screen. That looks fake to me. That shit right there, that looks fake. Yeah, when I see it when walk you, yeah. like right there, hey. I get a distance. You know, it looks like fake. the Bigfoot's real, but that's a fake backdrop. He's just walking through a, a set. No, that shit's oh. real. How dare you? Now you're no. confusing it, man. You're confusing it's the, the issue. It's the opposite. Oh, there's the a close leg, up, Yeah, the, the close-up gives me a, a totally different opinion. It's a real Bigfoot at Universal Studios. When you see it all like that? Yeah. There's a leg bulge, apparently, they keep bringing up. Hmm. That's making me dizzy. Yeah, I don't need to see that. <laughs> There's what appears to be a shock wave. Oh, so that up and down the leg. Oh, that would indicate that it's a suit. Oh, uh-huh. interesting. It does look like that. Watch it again at full speed. Okay, let me see. Oh, that's hard to tell, man. It's hard to even watch. It's like so hard to look at. <laughs> yeah. What is that? I believe I you because I'm getting dizzy. I think he's trying to say that it's a suit and that when he hits it, it's hard to see. 
See, but see how crazy these fucking people are? They're spending so much time on this. It should clearly show a strike to the leg. Using Windows Movie Maker too. Accompanying <laughs> shockwave. So the shockwave, what does that mean? Does that mean it's a suit? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah, what was his point? It's, it's in some sort of nice rhythm, though. Look at Here it is at full speed. What are you trying to say, bitch? <laughs> okay. The knee destabilizes. Oh, my God. Get to it, stupid. Watch the knee buckle with the very next step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your point, bitch? What are they discussing as walking patterns? Oh, my God. It is highly likely what? <laughs> that what we are seeing here, <laughs> did dot, 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 is a ballistic strike to the leg. Oh, my what? God. They're saying you got oh, shot, he shot in the leg. Accompanying okay. damage to a quad muscle. <laughs> oh, my God. These guys are idiots. What? <laughs> Copyright Patricia Patterson. Patricia, you can suck it. <laughs> you dummy. I can't believe you made me watch that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she got a shot. It's like people are so crazy. They will take you down a crazy hole and oh. leave you at the bottom of Crazy Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sane your way out of here. If that's you a- asshole. Did you really make me watch that? <laughs> a, a ballistic shot that appears to be around. Or a guy in a suit who just hit his fucking leg. If that's a ballistic strike, then the, <laughs> Bigfoot is tough as shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a blurry fucking film. What are you talking about? That's not about? even what it would look like you saw. It was a Pruder yeah. film, right? A ballistic strike to... Yeah. It causes a gigantic flesh explosion. It's disgusting. Like what? <laughs> yeah, when you see something get hit. Yeah, you, yeah. See, you see like a real impact. Nothing just takes a shot like that to the leg and keeps walking. Yeah. No, nope, that the knee destabilizes... Shot Leave it to one crazy mouth. person too to go. Like everyone else is like, is this real or fake? <laughs> I think he got shot in the thigh. <laughs> this, bitch, this bitch is at her house. You like, want, I think he got shot in the thigh. Let how me much time that. did she put into that video? I mean, she had edits and dot dot dots and Microsoft Movie Maker, man. All that t- text she typed in there. And she did it suspenseful too, so it's a little bit at a time. So you feel, <laughs> really, you end, feel really stupid. Yeah, they dropped the bomb. Copyrighted. Looks like you got shot. Bitch, you know that was me. We just watched the I video. I discovered that. <laughs> we, Bigfoot footage, bro. Yeah. More Bigfoot footage? Yeah. yeah. But this yeah. one, the lady was trying to say that he people. got shot in the leg during walking. Yeah, a lot of people are talking shit. They, they, you know, they don't really have These any people, idea. man. They don't really have any idea. 90,000 views. This That's is a where, lot of views. Let me tell you something. This is where it looks That's fake true. as fuck. <laughs> This is where it looks fake as fuck. Look, well, it's just walking on. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I see you bitches. Suck, Did I hear action yet? It. Like, suck it. It's just walking along. It looks just. It looks like. See, this doesn't look anything different than a person in a suit. Like the gate. Like if you watch its gate. Like when you see this. Um, like watch this shit. When you see when you first start to see it walking. That gate is no longer or quicker than a person in a suit would be making covering that distance. Like when you get a good perspective and you get to see it with uh, the, the the full ground. Like watch when they get close up on it. Like here's looks fake as fuck. Fake as fuck. Fake as fuck. <laughs> okay. Fake as fuck. I'm a guy in a suit. Fake as fuck. <laughs> Fake as fuck, fake as fuck, fake as fuck. Look at that, that looks so fake. Oh, I'm not even looking at you. Suck it, turns his back, fake as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the casual look back is really what is yeah. weird. Like, that's a that's like a human mannerism. Yeah, where it doesn't look fake as fuck is when you close in on it. That's when it starts to look weird. Like there, like right there, look at this. Look, look at this, this shit right here. Looks kind of too rigid, too. Oh, I mean, I don't see the muscle thing. Watch this, this part right here. This is all the close-up shit. And when they get close-up on it, look at the way it's moving, man. Look at all the musculature. You see the movement of the musculature as the limbs? Look at the big, deep crack in its back where you see thick muscles on both sides. That's not a guy in a suit. Look at that thing. See it again? See the muscles as he's moving? They couldn't do that back then. They didn't have that kind of technology. Look at the way how smoothly it all moves together. That is not moving like a suit. That's moving like an animal. It might, that might be a real animal. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. I'm not bullshitting. It really, it really does. It moves. It moves like. Well, when when was that video taken? What 67? year? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. And yeah. then when did uh, Star Wars come out with Chewbacca and all that? Seventy something. So I was. But wasn't seventy-seven? 
But wasn't George Lucas like working First of all, on Chewbacca was not as good as this. This is a shorter haired animal where you could see the muscles moving in its back. You couldn't see any of that with Chewbacca. He had this mm-hmm. long, big I mean there's a guy in a suit obviously, but it was long, furry. This is uh but I'm just saying, like, for, at, for 77, I'm going to lose this argument. I just know it right <laughs> now. <laughs> but for 77, I mean, Chewbacca looked pretty damn good. Yeah. I'm not saying good. he looked as good as this Bigfoot. But that's what's crazy is that this is some asshole who didn't have the money to pay for it. He wrote a bad check to pay for this fucking camera. Yeah. Why Do, do they and explain why could, it shook so much? As, he was like, on a horse. He was on a horse? Was, yeah. <laughs> of course. They were on horseback. Well, they stabilized it with, with um, <clears throat> computers. Like, this is the stabilized version. That's why it, like, juts up and down. Mm-hmm. And so there you get a chance to see the actual thing moving. And that's what's really crazy. Like, that's the best version of it. When you actually get to see the stabilized vision of it, that's when it doesn't look fake. This, yeah. is, this is where it freaks me out, man. That freaks me out. That really looks like an animal. And I, you would f- feel so fucking stupid. If they actually found one, and all this time he'd been making fun of it, like, <laughs> look at this asshole, fucking yeah. Patterson footage, look at this dick. Meanwhile, the whole time you could have been in awe that that really is a lost hominid. Right. Some crazy mountain Hominous. monkey thing that's probably part person, probably way closer to people than a gorilla. It's probably dead now, <laughs> and that was like the last one. And like yeah, we're all, so we're, everyone's out looking for it again. But it's like that was the last one. Like it had some weird thing that once human eyes like gazed upon it, then it died. Why, why do you think it's so sexy when things are undiscovered? What what is that about us? Mystery. Like, what what makes Bigfoot and Loch Ness monster and all that stuff so sexy? It's the same reason people are like antique hunting. You know, <laughs> you know, people are like, look at this fucking thing and it exists. It's like you know, classic piece of Americana, the Sasquatch. You know, people are just fucking all about it. Right. They want to be. They want like that just to think about like the the fucking thoughts and the. The world that it lives in is interesting. This is one where the guy claims that if you see its leg as it hits the ground, <laughs> if you watch the leg movement, the leg movement is uh, completely anatomical and that the muscles actually buckle like a normal person's would on impact. And you see here, watch as the thing walks. They show you close up and he's like, see this shit right here? We can't duplicate that. Isn't see there, the strains in the legs and all that shit? Isn't there something to be said about the best possible Bigfoot sighting captured in camera television history being in 67 though or 68 no it just means that back then there were real men running around not all these pansies that are scared to take a horse up in the mountains today you were the one who warned me about horses I'm just trying to get some dummies up there to recruit them for my Sasquatch hunting I'm on board you should man you should create a Sasquatch uh, army look at that thing man I'm ready to leave tonight (laughs) my bags are always packed this is a real (laughs) animal we're discussing here okay let's stop fucking around this is clearly a real animal I believe I, I heard there's a smell that comes along with them. Mm. That like, there's like a, a smell that like many people have claimed to have smelled, like a very musty, yeah, that gnarly is true. smell. If you get close Old to spice. one, scare one. They they call them skunk apes. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. They they stink. I mean, they could have like cloaking capabilities too, like Dude, a they could be predator. From another fucking planet. Yeah, oh, shit. predator man. Bigfoot from space, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even aliens, aliens. <laughs> yes. even aliens talk about Bigfoot. Even aliens, and that, that's how you know it's true. Bigfoot. Yeah. The guy got out of the show. He was telling me that Bigfoot is in um, Australia too. Okay. And oh, I was shit. like, wait a minute, wait a minute. How does that even work, man? How did they, how did it even get over there? How can you do? There's no primates over there. Like, if there's oh, yeah, more it's than, all marsupials. Yeah. If there's more than one Bigfoot, does that mean like it's big feet? Or would it mean Bigfoots? I think it's like deer. Oh, deer sure. and deer. It's wow. always deer. Yeah. So, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Tony, there. you just got work. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love learning. I love it. <laughs> 25 Bigfoot <laughs> were seen. That, that's yeah. a sentence that works. Well, did he tell you how they got over? <laughs> how Bigfoot not. got over? Maybe it doesn't work. They're, they're a called gaggle. a gaggle. Ah, we just Really? That's it? It's gaggle. a gaggle. A gaggle of Bigfoot. That's yeah. hilarious. That was perfect timing. That's for geese. Um. Yeah. Well, and big feet. <laughs> geese and big feet. <laughs> big. Squatches. <laughs> Apparently, there's a small ape, ape-like person that they believe exists called the orang pendek. 
Oh. And there's, there's apparently actually some some uh, like weird evidence that points to the fact that there might be. Is like, it very big or is no, it just like no, it's small. some it's some like hybrid wild, looking? Person like thing. Okay. You know like that, that thing like that the... they discovered from the island of Flores. You ever hear about that? No. The Flores man. Mm -mm. They called it a hobbit. You ever see it? No. Oh shit. my god. Put, put, pull, pull up on the screen if you can. That's um, crazy. Flores, hobbit people I are real. Like I'll hobbits try. are real. Hey. See if you can pull it up. I saw because... a thing about the human Z. Oh, but that's just that? a fucked up chimp. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> what this chimp. is is a, a type of hominid that existed alongside people mm -hmm. as recently as I think it was ten or 15,000 years ago. Oh, okay. This thing, I, I might be wrong about that. What's it called? The Flores Hobbit Man. Flores with an S at the end. Hobbit Man, real. So it's like a that. Neanderthal. No, it's type a little tiny thing. thing. Oh, okay. It's a little tiny thing. It's like a hobbit. They're oh, like wow. hobbits. They're these, and they, they think that they might have preyed on people's babies and shit. Oh, and they, shit. They like they're eight eaters. Eaters. Yeah. yeah, they might have been little, you know. Little that makes sense, animals. you know. Yeah, they might have eaten our children. Oh, yeah, there's shit. nothing that uh, preys on yeah, human children. Dude, yeah, I'm yeah, scared. Yeah, that was shit speculation. That I just brought up a Google image that's going to give me nightmares. <laughs> yeah. so yeah. These yeah. things are pretty wicked. freaky looking, yeah, man. Yeah, they, they lived alongside people. Is this like a no skeleton? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And they used tools. That's so they weird. They used tools and they had they had weapons. Okay. Yeah. Did you see that video of they the have gorillas? Spears, man. Oh, really? Man. Yes. They had fucking spears. Oh jeez. Yeah. There was a video uh, last week that went viral of gorillas uh, deconstructing human booby traps. Yes. Right. Yes. It was yes. so freaky, man. So it's just yeah. gorillas like they discover it and then they deconstruct it so they can pass. Like is it this, ways this, to trap this them. This Hobbit thing is a fucking trip. Is that like a computer gym? Is that I don't know. I just did a Google image search, and this is what came up. Is this? That's the Hobbit thing, right? Yes, that was that was what they believed. Yeah, th like. this they is scaring the shit out of me. They have <laughs> bones of these motherfuckers. They have children. I mean, this isn't like a, a guess game. This is like they know that this is a. They th first they thought it was a small person. You know, uh -huh. someone with a disease, and then they found more than one skeleton. They went, "Oh my God, we're dealing with a co totally different animal." And then when yeah. they compared the skulls to human skulls, this is what they decided they looked like. So they have this uh, omnivorous, weird human-like, ape-like thing that's like really close to uh, a human, or really close to yeah. an ape. Pretty fucking similar, and it's a little tiny thing. It's like this fucking three foot tall little troll thing that probably ate people's babies. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, well, they can't. probably had like a sense of humor, and yeah. they probably had more personality. They were probably cunts. Yeah, and they probably <laughs> ate babies, and we hunted these cunts down. Yeah, they were like, forget about and it. Jacked them. Isn't it crazy though? That, I mean, these are a type of human. I mean, essentially, yeah, essentially it's a type of human. A little three foot tall tool using human anything that is like human like i'd freak out like you ever look at sloths yeah. oh yeah oh, those creepy. things scare the shit out of me and they're probably like i don't know anything about them but they're probably like nice and you know they're just lazy <laughs> as shit and they just move slow but to like see them crawling across fuck, a and then they're fast as shit you ever see them fuck no. Oh, they crazy. They're the saving all their energy. They're no, saving no. it for fucking. They're like, no, no, no. Later, later, I might fuck. I'm gonna take this way fucking slow. Could you imagine even like getting away from eagles? Fuck, and I can't move. No, I'll risk death. But, but when they fucking like, ah, like a like a wolverine. They're fucking high fiving and shit. That's fucked up, bitch. Savage. That is weird. Yeah, hands. yeah. They're they're but three finger fiving. And when it comes, it deflates like a wine bag. <laughs> it's like 80% cum. Sloth, yeah. sloth is 80% cum. Sloths are mostly cum. I believe that. I they're believe all, it. They're almost all cum. <laughs> That's why they they're so cool. They're so slow, they don't get much of a chance to fuck. So when they do, they just dump everything they have in there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they're they're working their way back up to come again. They're yeah. so slow. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that theory. Or they're so slow because no. they have, <laughs> if fucking if, if peacocks can be real, why not that? Oh yeah, yeah right? I always forget yeah. that they are real. Why not something that just comes a tremendous amount? <laughs> the wine bag badger. <laughs> they're all a, a cock with thorns on it. Uh, their and, mouth and, is a, a franzia opens up valve. At the end, like a, a hot dog on a grill, pop and just <laughs> swarms of cum come out. <laughs> they're just super lethargic because they're carrying around so much extra weight and cum. Like. And fem female badgers develop large thorny claws on the back of their legs to buck the men off. That's oh, the only way they get them to release their their thorny cocks. 
Wait, is that real? No, I'm making okay. this up. Okay, I can't. I don't making know this if we. Fall. I said Thorny Cox. I, I know a lot about sloths, but. Wine but bags bad. of cum. <laughs> like rice pudding. <laughs> yeah, but human like things, like ra- even raccoons have like little human the hands. There's like, hello, hello. They're creepy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Those little garbage <laughs> they just like grab onto I things. Hate those things, man. They're like Not opening life. soda cans. Oh, man. <laughs> They're creepy. Man. Yeah. You could get a I raccoon saw one, to bring you a beer. That would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. I saw a raccoon that got hit by a car. I mean, like the remains, and I was like, good. He was like, thumbs down. <laughs> yeah. Those things, man. Fucking hate them. They're not your friend. No. I, I know. want to give you They're honoring. They're, They're not looking out for you. No. <laughs> I wonder, wonder what the intelligence of a raccoon is like compared to like a cat or What's something. What's up with your well, pronunciation of, of raccoon? Do... I'm sorry. Raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people make them pets, don't they? They do make them pets, right? I've never heard that. That would be the dumbest thing you could do, I would say. <laughs> just going through your paperwork. I think, I think you can make a raccoon your pet. I I've seen people make like squirrels and shit like that pets. I think you can do it. I'm, I'm sure, yeah. I might be guessing here. But well, I'm no, I'm not, I'm not saying it hasn't happened. I just say it, that's a stupid thing to do. They're a vicious animal. Mm-hmm. Are they vicious? Are they only vicious when they're uh, like when provoked? They're wild? Like maybe if you raise it. As yeah. Raccoons own. as pets. What to expect? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Is that the first thing that pops up? You're googling that? Yeah, man. Many people may not think of raccoons as pets. Those who live with them find they make fascinating and funny companions, although prone to a little or maybe lots of mischief. <laughs> Before even considering a raccoon, though, be aware that they are illegal in many areas, <laughs> as in places where people read. Wait, what? what? No, I made that part okay. up. <laughs> Check with local and state provincial regulatory bodies before pursuing the idea of having a raccoon as a pet. If raccoons are legal where you are, then the search is on. It is best to obtain them from a breeder, although one may be difficult to find. <laughs> Because they've killed them. Some, Here are some links of breeders. Some no links. Some have raised orphan <laughs> raccoons as pets. In any case, it's best if the raccoons are very used to being handled a lot from an early age. I didn't know. This will help make them more sociable and less prone to bite. <laughs> <laughs> Having someone write such a positive... Uh, it's the old one. She gets a little real here. It's a positive toned. They are prone to biting, especially if they feel threatened. So be prepared that this may happen. Like a human grabbing. Oh, it may happen. Oh, I might just get bit by an animal. What do okay, you? Can I soccer kick this motherfucker? No, that's abuse. <laughs> bites me? Do you think that Sarah abuse? McLaughlin gives a fuck about raccoons? <laughs> I'll soccer kick the shit out of a raccoon if it bit me. I'll soccer I'll kick go. the shit out of Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> Mauricio Shogun who, uh, Pride 2005 style. Do you think that's written by the only person that has raccoons as pets? <laughs> yeah, right. They're like, ooh, it's someone, it's someone, hang out with me. This Her name's Bev. No friends. Loves ra- <laughs> No friends. What do you do when you're on stage and you you, you can't stop coughing? Is like what your you voice. Yeah, like I, every time I would be like, "Oh, excuse me," and just be like, <clears throat> then I'll do that, and like three seconds later, I could tell I need to cough again. Like it, like I was like near having like a fucking a, 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 pan, a cough attack when on you quit, stage. You quit comedy. You just quit comedy. Quit. Right yeah, there. you got a bail, bro. <laughs> or you make it into the most it's brilliant piece much. of art. It's too yeah. much for you. <laughs> did you see that coughing thing that Red Band it's too did? Crazy. It the was world's too crazy. Unbelievable. The world's too crazy, brother. That was awful. His coughing cadence. Did, did you eat it up there? No, I, I fucking killed it. But you, it, how it was, was a great crowd. Did you do that, that? My favorite joke. Yeah, I, I did that, and I did uh, I did two new, three new jokes tonight. That joke is so funny, man. What's the joke? Can I hear it? Don't say it. You'll fucking ruin it for everybody. Okay. Never goes to see it. Uh, I tried some new jokes too. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Put it on I the internet, man. If you try a new joke, make sure you nod no as you're doing it. People will give you some leeway. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I did that totally. <laughs> no, 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 no. You won't like this one. <laughs> so no, this this next joke sucks. <laughs> I think I may have said that. <sighs> That's what I, every time a new joke goes bad, I'm just like, yeah, you're right. That new was, jokes are brutal, man. That's fucking true. Yeah. They're not your friends. They're My no. new jokes will stay on a set list know, for yeah. like a long time before I try them. And there, there's, you know, some new jokes are like, I'm doing that now because I love it. Yeah, but right. some are like, that's never working its way. <laughs> in. It's tricky. I don't yeah. like going out on a limb that often. I've been I've been bailing on new jokes just because I do them once and they don't get that big of a laugh. But I'm mm. starting to realize it's not because it's not funny it's because i'm not saying it right i'm not saying yeah. it with the confidence and the conviction it's not realized know? joey yeah. diaz is on stage ladies and gentlemen so that's Holy why i check shit. out cocksuckers i'm gonna watch the party <laughs> do it. 
Brian Redband, you're a savage. We podcasted all week. We let him know. By the way, Joey Diaz is really fucked up off that, that candy bar, and that's why he's not in here right now. <laughs> he's like, I started getting claustrophobic. <laughs> he, he ate, Joe, you know how much you ate? Joe ate uh, uh, about maybe one third of that bar, maybe not even that much, maybe. But he was fucked up, and Joe, you know, is is a is a professional. Uh, Joey Diaz just ate seventy five percent of that candy bar, <laughs> and he was outside, fucking like going, I'm fucking. The room was coming in close to me. Yeah. He just walks in and crushes. I just walked through a terrible fart on my way out there. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Diaz. I don't give a fuck. What prowess. What prowess. <laughs> Did you ever find your missing notebook that you... Yes. Oh. All right. Joe Rogan. Check, Peace. See you, Joe. Check him out in a new season of News Radio. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new. Josh, but you're right. Um, <coughs> I know what you mean about the... We're going to get back. Okay. <laughs> do this what are we talking about? uh you were talking about how jokes they're not like oh, I, yeah. I feel like when you're early on as a comedian you try things that you would never try now mm-hmm. but there are some really good jokes that come out of just having like whatever i'm gonna you know work this one until it finally fucking works yeah. whereas now you're like oh, i'm gonna ditch it right away yeah 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 where it's just like well i'm not saying it right but i'll never fucking find out if i can ever say it right yeah whereas like first year or second year comic you'll fucking just say it because it's the funniest thing you have no matter what. Right. <laughs> and then it finally finds a place that's, like, great. Yeah. And you're, like, eating shit all the time anyway, so it doesn't even hurt. You're like, oh, that one didn't work, but neither did the three things I said right before that. I was always a standing I ovation never guy. Really ate yeah, shit. I was always a standing mm. ovation guy. Yeah, like, you saw me tonight, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, they were standing up before you even got to the stage. I, 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 uh, I Superman went out on a stream of, like, river hands. Like, people, Nine people, cat. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, It was awesome. Yeah, I had an inflatable tube, and I just rode it out on the crowd. You're like Paddles what I imagine no Brett Michaels does at the end of his concerts. <laughs> yes! I rode out on a uh, crowd-surfing uh, blowjob train. It was just... Uh, uh, so messy. Yeah, it was, it was messy. You were just blowing everybody on your way out. <laughs> And everyone's like, get off me! <laughs> My show's not <laughs> over! <laughs> I got three more minutes, bro! <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is a new bit. It's where I tickle your balls. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? I have a show tomorrow, and that's a great idea. Where's your show tomorrow? Giving blowjobs to the crowd. Oh, it's a, it's a show I do every week. It's called The Tomorrow Show. Oh, yeah, fuck that show. When is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Locked and loaded. Yeah, you talked about this the last time I was in your presence. No, no, no. Uh, hey, you uh, like set up? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, what's that thing? Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> that's what you did. Um, no, but I mean, if you're gonna suck a bunch of people's dick, that's the show to do it at. At the Tomorrow Show. Yeah. The Steve Allen Theater. I think that's what the L.A. Weekly said. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you're into top sucking a bunch of dicks, top ten down. places to suck, suck multiple dicks <laughs> on your way out during a midnight in rapid succession. <laughs> yeah, you know how like the LA Weekly does a best of, and it's always very specific. Like they pick the thing they want first, and right. then so it's like top ten places to suck a dick at a midnight variety <laughs> comedy show yeah. in Los Angeles. And so it's just your show, and then <laughs> the other ten shows are like, well, this doesn't technically yeah, yeah. take place at midnight. No, but it does have Baja fish tacos. <laughs> it's like completely wrong. No? How was the show, guys? My show was great. I saw some of your set. Great job. I didn't see some of yours. I'm sorry. Oh, he crushed. I was you. right here. Oh, thank you. I've never Billy. seen you. Yeah. In fact, I had never met you <laughs> until <laughs> right before you went on and destroyed... Oh. And you gave me a nice little crowd to ride. Wow, I'm seeing you know? real connection between you yeah, two. Man. I want. <laughs> I don't take compliments. I want to. Well. F- uh, <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> because right. I never, I never it's get okay. them. Just touch. I want to follow you. <laughs> on Twitter? Not, not just on stage. On Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter. To your home. <laughs> oh shit! And I want to machete you, you motherfucker. I'm, Billy seems really nervous. <laughs> hey, Billy. We're kind of wearing the same jacket. <laughs> oh, we did, dude. We did the same thing. Yeah. I mean, they probably thought I came back twice. I just put glasses on. Oh. oh. Clark Kent. Mm. 
What was that? We had a Randy Licky impersonator in here on a, on a show the other day. Oh, was it John Huck? Yeah. Yeah, people fucking always confuse me for John Huck. <laughs> And we do have a similar, like, occasionally I will see a Facebook page of this, like, a picture of him, and I will... You get it? Well, through the eyes and nose, I will confuse myself. But when I... <laughs> for real, because I'm like, when did I take it? I've never been to there. But looking at the... Re- you know what I mean? He, he, we clearly look different. You just seem happier than John. Though. Really? That's I don't know thing. him too personally. I don't know him either, but, like, the, the couple times I've been around him, I'm just like, ah, oh, he's... Not happy. Yeah, one right of my now. my I first know. my first interactions was at like a showcase, and he was like, "You're not after me, are you?" And I'm like, "I'm not even on this show. Like, I'm just watching." He's like, "Oh, thank God!" Like, because if we went on like one after another, it would just be like confusing. Oh, who cares? But who cares? I know, but like if he it, look I, at it. Look if at he the, was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that I need to find somebody that looks like Davey and Brendan, and yeah. we should just have like like. No, I have I have literally been stopped in the street by people saying, like friends of John Huck, look being, up, uh, being like John, and I go nope, and they go holy shit, like, red band. Look up uh, Tyler Labine. That's Tyler. the guy everybody says I look like. Oh really? Tyler. Yeah. Oh well, look up Pierce Brosnan while you're at it because I get that one a lot too. <laughs> What, what a stupid guy to... Oh, shit. <laughs> he's, he's handsome. You he's look just like him. Oh, shit. I don't know. Who's that guy? Wow, that's crazy. He's an actor, right? Yeah. He's in... Uh... Well, so, so am I, Randy. <laughs> no, 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 but I recognize... We're both actors. I recognize him. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. I, I mean, see that. When I have crazy. a lot of facial hair, I really get going there. But he's Canadian, so... Okay. <laughs> I got him beat. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Now look up pictures of sloths. Sloth. Yeah, sloths. Right. Oh yeah, if you coming. Could, if you, yeah, a sloth having sex. All right. We need that. So what if they're just twice as slow when they're having Can sex? Can I introduce my friend Jeff that I made come with me? As long as it's like a really big introduction. This is my friend Jeff Thanks. Lorch. Why don't you come up on it? This is called a microphone. Oh, this is new to me. Hello. And uh, Jeff is an amazing actor and a hilarious. Uh, comedy improviser. I saw all of your sets. Uh oh. I'm gonna judge you right now, one yeah. by one. One through th- one through third one place. One through third place. Yeah. Well, did did you see? Third. Did you see Red Band set? I mean, he's like first place no matter what. No, I did not see his set. Yeah, of course I saw his set. Yeah, that's right before I came in here. You okay, so there's. I didn't know that you guys were friends. I was in the crowd next to him, and I did comment on your set to him. He oh did, really? But what did in he a say? good way. A what good did he way, say? Yes. Thanks for covering for me, bro. <laughs> uh, no, no. I smile a lot when I lie, guys. No, so I saw you guys know in advance. <laughs> I made a cheesy joke. I saw you guys come in together. So when I was sitting, I was like near him. I go, "This fucking guy sucks, right?" Yeah. <laughs> well, what? What? Uh, so rate. I tried to make it backpedal. I tried to. I tried to make it awkward for him. Well, I bought him a beer for it. So. Yeah, yeah. He was like totes, bro. Totes, bro. Totes. I get it, man. I get it, man. We're gonna go back in there and do some podcasting. Yeah, yeah. First through uh, third place, and then honorable mention. <laughs> yeah, but who gets the hustler or like the most aggressive or like most inspirational? Oh, and you can't count Tony. I mean, he's the host, and I'm not. I'm not saying that to knock him, no, but no, no. like, I don't want you to, like, you know, knock Randy out because because you're giving it to Tony. Yeah, it's just a okay. different different. Uh, Tony Tony's hilarious. He's he's very I'm just hilarious. gonna I'm just gonna point. For okay, your audio that, listeners. That's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna be the rating. Okay. Uh, is it weird that I feel pressure no, no. right now? There you no, go. You can't just point because there's people listening. To no, this, I know so that was the whole point. No, oh. my, get it. Just say who. Uh, first place, who? First place. Um, don't feel. Don't don't do feel like you have pota- to give I had a joke about potato chips. Remember that joke? Oh, that the, was the Mark Shh. Roof. Uh, don't do it. I have to see me live. Have to see me live. I got <laughs> live. Never even tweeted that. One. See, I see. I know. I almost gave it away, man. I almost gave it away. I got applause breaks. <gasps> you did. Yeah, you did. Uh, but mm-hmm. you know what? I have to go with the first guy I saw. It was the lead guy. Bill. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I got the wrong answer. <laughs> no opinions in the show, guys. Second, oh, yeah, this is no the opinions. no spin zone. It's always red band. It's always red band. Come on, second place. <laughs> we did a similar thing like this. <laughs> this is fucked up, man. No, it's not. Yeah, okay. On, on the podcast that I do, we did a... Everyone had to vote on who you thought had the biggest dick. And then rank it from biggest to smallest, and then we took a tally, and then we had the announcements on who won. The everyone thinks is you that, have the biggest dick, and then we announced it. But is that like fully, you know? Did you get to like grown? Or it was a full like, disclosure. No, no, no. It was just all based on what you thought. But did you get to like plead your case, like make your case, <laughs> like, well, I got size fifteen feet, and I'm a big guy, and I'm, you know? Nope. 
Once we decided, everyone just had to be silent and just judge everyone's physical appearance. <laughs> okay. Who won that? I can't remember. Um, I think <laughs> me and you were we tied. were up <laughs> near the top. Yeah, yeah we tied. <laughs> For the biggest, yeah. yeah, and then we had a big, big dick slapping competition because <laughs> I wasn't on the show. Yeah, yeah, we, the loudest slap. Yeah, we can, I would have won that. We, we stopped airing, and then we just had a big fucking like dick thing going on. <laughs> what was that? What's that old? What's that old Hollywood story about? Who was a, that famous guy that had the big dick? Was it Milton Berle? I, yeah, I think yeah, so. That's you heard that story where. Uh, where you know he, he just had this legendary dick or whatever. And, like <laughs> they, so they're at they're at some like uh, dinner theater. Or they're in, at, at some bar, or whatever. And he and all the guys and they're in Hollywood and just like drinking and having a great time or whatever. And uh, some guy comes in, much like Jeff just came in now. Like no, you know, nobody knows who nobody you knows are, but it's like it would be like if I was like, oh, Jeff here's got a big dick, you know. And they're like trying to give Milton Berle a run for his money. And Milton's, and they're like, oh, yeah, I heard he's got a big dick. And Milton's just sitting back, just like letting it happen, letting them talk this guy up. And so it gets to the point where they decide they're going to whip him out. And so the guy whips his dick out and just slams it on the table, just boom, just thump right there. And everyone's like, oh, my God, I can't believe how fucking big it is. Uh Holy shit, it was the biggest fucking dick. It's like a big Chipotle burrito. Milton Berle does not, yeah, Yeah. just his giant dick. And Milton Berle doesn't even flinch. And his buddy leans over, uh, Milton's buddy leans over to him and goes, hey, just show enough to win. <laughs> what? <laughs> he has that on one of those like outdoor hose like reels. A fire hose. Like, <laughs> well, here's just a little bit. <laughs> you, have to, <laughs> you have the hammer to break through the glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> fire hose case. I want my dick to be that big, through. man. I got a small little. What's it? That? I, I saw a thing and it, and, you know, it was like a, a viral thing, but a guy who kind of brags as to having the biggest dick in the world or something and he's a guy who was stopped at airport security and strip searched because they thought he was they're like what do you got in there and he's like it's my dick <laughs> and they're like what? okay come on bro and they had to like strip search oh, him yeah no i did hear about there that. was like some picture of this guy and he's like next time i'll just wear spandex shorts <laughs> but he's like, he's just like a fucking sh- like sleaze bag who happens to have a giant fucking yeah dick. People, are, people are like oh is he like embarrassed about this no he's living it up but oh, yeah, he's yeah. just he's like i'm just frustrated because i travel a lot <laughs> he's a body part celebrity <laughs> he bases everything off of it but like his his flaccid penis is giant right and did you guys ever have any friends when you guys were growing up like as adolescents no <laughs> okay sorry man uh that's why we're coming over here this way <laughs> <laughs> no the dudes that thought they had the biggest cock and so they would literally like walk around and oh, treat would... you like shit because they thought they had the biggest dicks and they'd show it off that was me yeah that was you yeah you're an asshole i know yeah. most <laughs> comics do that it seems like most like i, I don't know how many dicks i've seen at comedy clubs oh really know? yeah like <laughs> oh, Ar- ari shafir does it all the time uh oh pete's got a story i'm sure uh what what happened pete uh, pete's- the comedy store one night. your name is pete i bet you got a big hog no <laughs> no all right mediocre. I'll pull my pete, pete, it's I mediocre will. <laughs> but uh Fan. at the comedy store one night uh this chick was in town it was like somebody's sister <laughs> Okay, and she's she a huge dick. Everyone's no, somebody's sister. No, no, it's, I'll make it short as I can, but uh, that's what he said about his dick. Boom, 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 Hey-o. boom, 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 boom. Ayo, ayo. Sorry. Okay. okay, so anyways, it's just blowing some dude standing up against the front bar of the comedy store, you know? Uh huh. She's blowing him. Yeah, blowing him at the front bar. Wait, is he a comic or just a patron? She's a patron. And he's, he's a about, comic. He's a he's, comic. He, he's a patron's like a regular's brother. Oh. Who's visiting from out of town? Sure. You know, anyways. Bl- so, brother, like he's a black, he's come, a black guy. Triple A comes out and he's oh. like, "Hey, let's take this inside." Embarrasses on stage, and they they want to have a big dick contest, and they get Ari Shafir and Dan Madonia on stage, and the chick starts blowing both of them on stage. What? Shut what? Up. I have it all How come we haven't heard this? So you can when actually see it. Yeah, it's like forty-five minutes long. It's not. It's not like Cinemax and blowing. PJ, PJ Stansberry <laughs> is like all up in the chest with his camera. air blowing. <laughs> No, she was blowing both of them, going back and forth. They're sitting in chairs on the stage in the OR. Yeah. Like, in, and there's a crowd there, and they're loving it. Yeah. Oh my! What the? F- that's like that's how people join cults. Why can't I get booked on these shows? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, you got the guy someone, who runs up right show. at the end, and it's like, suck my dick too. And it goes, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. 
Yeah, big dick contest. <laughs> when, when was, uh, how long ago Gay was bars have, <laughs> have those type of things. Well, what, how it started was the guy out front who was getting blown originally at the bar. The brother. The brother. And he was a young kid. He's like 18. He just came to L.A. to visit his sister. Mm-hmm. He was all embarrassed and he didn't want to get on stage. But the hype for the big dick contest had been, you know, played up and the crowd's into it. So yeah. Yeah. They got Madonia and uh, So who had Ari. the biggest dick? Well... Madonna, <laughs> Madonna claimed that both of them kind of claimed they couldn't get fully hard because the, uh, oh, yeah they're gonna say the that performance because they were just getting, getting, yeah. they were <laughs> only stage. getting a blow job and they yeah. couldn't you know they're like I just think about how many comics have gotten hard in the OR yeah I just don't know that I could do it it's just yeah. what is okay, a lot of how long ago was this um I'd say about two years ago oh how come they haven't heard of it I feel like that's a story that would have. Yeah, well, I haven't published Circulated. the video, obviously. Yeah, but still, there were enough people there that I'm, I'm surprised I've that people haven't it. talked about it. You heard about yeah. it? Yeah. Heard That's it. illegal, right? Yeah, like Heavily about. illegal. Yeah, let's yeah. just keep the hey, law yeah, out of it. No, I'm just saying, I know that I, I, did a, I did the naughty show, and you're allowed to show, like, boobies well, and stuff okay. there. There's probably a no penetration a rule, times, though. back in the day, we'd yeah, mouth or anywhere else. in a mouth. <laughs> we'd lock the doors. That's yeah. When Ryan Goldfinger was the manager. I shouldn't have said his name, but... Oh, he's, he's been fired anyway, so it doesn't matter. Edit. But we'd lock the doors and just, you know, do whatever. Mm. Uh-huh. What you do with these I things? used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those eyes. You got something else going on. and more stories to tell. <laughs> I was a cook. Uh, I was a cook at a gay bar in West Hollywood for my first two years in Los Angeles, and the people who owned that bar owned a, like a crazier, like party gay bar. And they they literally had like a big fat cock competition like one, <laughs> once a week, and they would like advertise it on posters, and people would just like take pictures of their dicks at the bar, and then like they would like put them on a projector. And uh-huh. It's like that's so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's just like, oh, I heard this place has a really awesome uh, drink special and big giant dick photo competition, and I'd like to go there. So Is that on their circular? Just did you did you ever do it? No, I used to have to go there to pick up my paychecks every once in a while, though, and it was like... Did they always, like, drop them on the floor and, like, pick it up? No, <laughs> <laughs> no it, wasn't, it, it wasn't a funny job at all. It was just, like, a terrible <laughs> fucking... I, I was a cook at this fucking bar, and I had a shitty boss. That sounds pretty amazing. And, uh, and it was, like, the bar that I worked at was, like, most people came for the food and it was like pretty chill and the one the one down the street was like I'd go to pick up my paycheck and there'd be two like beefcake dudes and speedos at the door and I was like I'm just uh, really intimidated I'm here to pick up my paycheck and they're like oh yeah go right back and then it's like oh hey it's the guy that I know from the other bar who's also here but he's acting a little bit different it was like straight guys right. that were married but when they were at this bar they were like kissing on guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you go through the back door Good one, oh. Brian. And if you mean butt sex, then yes. But I would walk through the front door to get my paycheck and then have butt sex. Thank you. <laughs> no innuendos, please. Let's just talk about actual anal sex. Uh, have you, how many times have you had anal sex, Randy, with a woman? Zero. Never? Never. Have you ever attempted? Never attempted. One time unattempted, accidentally. <laughs> but, but. But. No. Uh, hey, you said no. No, I, I never have. No puns. No puns. No puns. Uh, nope. Zero times. Mm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was hoping for a good story. There. So uh, disappointing. Well, I could lie. You could. Can we can we take this back a little bit? Yeah. No. Ask it again. So, so have you ever yeah, had bro. a butt sex with a woman? Before? How many? Do you want to know how many times? No, I, I just want to know about the best one because I've I already guessed that you've had many butt sexes. <laughs> oh, now how am I going to come up with something funny for this? <laughs> um, <laughs> nothing is funny. It's just like all I can say is like yes, I have, and it was crazy, and it was butt sex. And Thank she, you. <laughs> and she had a hemorrhoid, and it popped, and it went right in my mouth. Oh wait, what? what? <laughs> you like missed the half You're court terrible. shot. You're like, no, no, let me try it again. Yeah, come on, no, come on, I'm, I can I'm make begging this. for this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I went to prison for it. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Nothing. All right, let's take it back again. Ask me again. So, Randy, have you ever? How many times have you had butt sex? Zero times. Oh. <laughs> let's keep it rolling. It's good. It's good. It's really good. Billy Manel, have you had butt sex with a woman before? <laughs> uh, On the heels of the success of my answers, I gave it a shot once, and it was fucking weird. <laughs> That's what I should have said. Yeah. I gave it a shot, man. Why was it weird? Because it, it was a relative? No. <laughs> it changes the smell of the room you're in. It does. <laughs> I'm sure it does. It's like a Glade plug-in. So you open a whole new... Uh, it really, yeah. New it world of possibilities of smells. All of a sudden, I have a new sense memory. 
There was a guy in my college that uh, talked about his, his butt sex experience. He was having a one-night stand and didn't have any condoms. And so he wanted to go to the rear entrance. And uh, he had no lube, so he got some shampoo and used shampoo to have butt sex. <laughs> oh, that'll fuck with someone's so in a way, pH that's balance. Clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, I stepped that all over. No, 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 it's fine. That burns. That's it. Yeah, it's going to hurt. <laughs> I've had that where I've used in like hotel rooms where they haven't yeah, had lotion, on, so I've man. used shampoo, you know, to masturbate, yeah. and you forget it later, and you have sex, and it gets all foamy. <laughs> Do you not wash it off? Your vagina yeah, you gotta wash it off. Well, it's, it's, in the, it's in your pubes. It stings when it gets into your, uh, in your the orifice hole, in there. The hole. Yeah, in the hole, it stings. But then you don't have any dick dandruff three days later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your pubes are all shiny and shit. It's mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Is Joe on stage right now, Tony? Yes, he sure is. Two, 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 two. Golden pony, H plus inch. Joe's on stage. That gives us the green light to talk about butt sex and, and dick <laughs> shampoo. What are you? What are you drinking, Randy? What is that? Oh, uh, anyone who wants some, feel free to take a very small amount. Uh, it's uh, it's rye. It's old Overholt yeah. rye whiskey. Is it shitty or is it good? It's very good. It's um, it's not shitty. <laughs> <laughs> this is like most bars will have this type of rye. Not as like a well whiskey, but mm-hmm. it's uh, very straightforward. One guy, just, I, I was buying it at a store, and I was like, describe this to me. I'm curious. And he's like, it's not sexy. And I was like, <laughs> good. Uh, it, it's just like a really good, it's not fancy. It's not a fancy bottle. Uh, there are is there's folklore about um, um, Doc Holiday drinking Old Overholt. Huh. So basically, not it says 1810 on the bottle. That's when like this brand was created. Sure, came into being. But um, there's not a lot of old. There's a few old ryes, but basically after Prohibition, most distilleries that came back were bourbon, mm-hmm. and most ryes just didn't start again. So a lot of ryes right now are new kinds of rye. And then a few super old types of rye. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And I'll tell you all you want to know in an email. Just email me. (laughs) 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 Rye is very, it's spicy. Compared to bourbon, bourbon is sweet. Rye is spicy. Bourbon is corn. 51% 50 per, 51% corn and rye is 51% rye. And then after that, it's whatever the fuck you want. Mm-hmm. 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 This talk is bourbon. Where's little Davy tonight? Where's Where's little Davy at? Should we try to prank him? Um, no, don't prank Davy. Oh. Davy's out probably macking on some ladies. He's little Davy. He Davy does this thing. thing. I don't know if you guys know who Davy is. He's my comedy partner. We perform as a duo. And then we also do a podcast here at Death Squad called Bone Zone with Brennan Walsh and Davy Johnson and I. But uh, he does this whole, like... Oh, he oh, lost me at Brennan Walsh. He lost me at Brennan Walsh. Sorry, continue. That's cool. Um, that's just one-third of us, so just skip the first part. Uh, Davey does this thing where he's like, oh, I don't get girls. And it's like this total act because he's like a balding guy with a mustache. And people are like, hey, it's Dennis Franz or whatever. <laughs> and um, But he's like 32 and he's pretty young. But he gets so much pussy so much. Can we just... We need to see yeah. a picture of this guy. Yeah. Right? You want to see a picture of Davey? <laughs> his face. No, Davey is, Davey is the friends. sweetest, nicest guy, but he has this whole innocent thing going. He's a fuck machine, this guy. <laughs> I was just kidding about Brandon Walsh, face, by the way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what about in the butt? All right, then skip the last part. <laughs> 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 That's me. <laughs> Red Band wants to know if he does it in the butt. Does Davey do it in the butt? I think Frequently? almost exclusively, uh, yeah. He's like a butt He's a butt sex guy. Yeah. 99.9%. He was born a gay guy, and then he like went to one of those Christian places. Now he's a straight guy, so he only fucks girls in the butt. <laughs> born a Gay? Born again. Born again. Born again. Born again. <laughs> Word joke. Oh man, we stretched that one. But out. honestly, if anybody wants some of this whiskey, um, do you have an extra glass? I don't. I got this at the bar you though. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> wow. You got it. You got the bottle from the. No, I got bar? the glass. Oh. At the bar. I brought the bottle. The styrofoam cup. Is it a plastic bottle? Oh. No. I'll get some cups. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here's my favorite. If you want to know, my favorite. Thing that Randy and Davey do. It's uh, I've showed this a million times before, but it's so beautiful. Oh wow! Well. Just just for a little bit of background, this is called the Bro Peck, and this is a, an extreme version of the Bro Peck. The Bro Peck is a new high five where two friends kiss on the mouth, and this is a slow motion version. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Oh no. You'd think that's the first time we kissed, but no, it was the first time we kissed to a soundtrack. Who, who whose idea was it first to to do the to do the first kiss? Like, were you were you guys like, hey, let's we have a skit idea where we kiss and it's gonna be funny, or was it like Davy drunk and he just grabbed your dick and you're like, all right, we better make this a bit because this no, is really uncomfortable. I think like any comedian, you find ways to cheaply get a laugh, and so maybe initially. Uh, show a picture of the, video of this. Um, good. We just did like a uh, like an aggressive makeout, like a fake makeout, and and it's gradually gotten a little nice. bit more believable. <laughs> Where initially it's just like this, oh, faces touching. Um, but then we decided that the like just like the sensual like peck, like two guys giving a peck kiss, is more effective than two guys like grossly freaking out on each other. So like in the middle of a set, I, I, maybe it was we were here and we were doing a show, and there and someone was like, "You guys have kissed before?" And we're like, "Yeah, part of a bit." And they're like, "How many times do you think you can kiss tonight?" And we're like, "I don't know, oh, eight. Right. And so so like every chance that we got, if we would get a laugh, we would just kind of make eye contact and then give each other like a congratulatory peck, and the crowd would be like, "Whoa, what?" <laughs> <laughs> Because it was in the small room at the Ice House. And like now when, <laughs> when I do these shows, there's there are some people that come that have listened to the podcast that I do, which is awesome. So it's like the crowd, part of the crowd is a little bit biased already. But back then it was like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Right. And so we would just be like, hey, what's up? And we would like say some stupid joke and then kiss each other. <laughs> Like oh. like minute number one, and they'd be like, whoa, 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 what, what? It changed the smell of their room, too. Just <laughs> it like does. The sex. It <laughs> does. Different sense memories. Yeah, yeah. Just like the butt sex. Who's going to kiss tonight? I think it should be Randy and Tony. That's the yeah. thing where it's like I'm super, I don't even. Randy's the slut? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not a slut. Thank you. But I do, when I kiss Davey, it's, I don't have to think about it at all. It's just like. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, and then we'll end on whatever. It's not Are like. Are you saying you'd think about it with me? No, I'm just saying even. <laughs> some... <laughs> sounds so fucking stupid. Or were you gonna have feelings? Are you gonna fall for me or something? No, but it's for some reason, Davey and I, I. It's probably the same as if you're working as an actor and you have to kiss like a lady who's not your girlfriend, but you have a girlfriend. It's just like, oh, I don't have to think about this. But then the second you have to do it again with someone else, you're like, oh shit. Well, now this is different. And just repetition. Repetition with anything becomes... So you're saying that he's your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. What I'm saying is I will kiss you, but it's going to make things weird with Davy and I. Don't tell him. Shit, you're right. No I could have been kissing you yeah, this, my whole time. this whole time. My girlfriend watching this right now. No, it's not... Her name's Davy. He's <laughs> <laughs> been cheating on you the whole time. Wait a minute. There's a twist. It, it, it is weird. For some reason, Like I don't think about it at all. But even when... like if. There's been a few times where Brendan was like, yeah, yeah, bro peck me. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, where it's like, oh, shit, I should be able to bro peck everybody. He's but He's I'm... just gross, though. <laughs> <laughs> he's been through so much in his life. No. You don't know where his lips have been. No, he's very honest. I know where his lips have been. But that's a good <laughs> oh. enough reason. Uh, I don't know why. It's weird. But I'll kiss whoever. All right, dude. He loosened up. There we go. He loosened up. <laughs> Tony? No, 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 loose no. lips. I don't do it just for fun. I do watch. it for comedic effect. I'm not just gonna go around and smooch <laughs> all of y'all. I'm totally gonna laugh. This is gonna be hilarious. Yeah, we'll laugh <laughs> one at a time. Laugh. I'm gonna laugh. The last thing I do you one, yeah. one laugh at a, a time. Been in a room full of dudes who are like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> do go it, ahead, do kiss it. me. <laughs> It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Usually they're like, what the fuck? You kiss your comedy partner? Like, yeah, yeah. But no, listen, this is why. Last thing I need is when I get home, my girlfriend asking me why there's red pubes in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Why does your mouth smell like beard? No, I, I kissed it. I kissed a guy with a beard. Yeah. No, That's believable. Bit. It was for a bit. Yeah. Randy, when did you cut your hair? Because I, I remember you having longer hair, and I just re realized that you have short hair now. No, that was John Huck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. John Huck looks more like Chris Elliott than I do. Um, I cut my hair. I, did you know that I cut my own hair? That's that's like when I first moved to LA. Oh, Look wow. at that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That was like Bigfoot. That yeah, like Bigfoot. No, I've, I've gotten that before. You were the guy in the costume all along. Just bottle water.
This is such a weird video. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know! I was a little it's bit fatter. I already told you! Why haven't you tried it yet? Bottled water! Bottled water! Bottled water! <laughs> such a point. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like! Just try it! Bottled water! <laughs> did you when you when you were younger, like did you were you always like kind of like funny before you moved to LA? Were you, like I mean were you like the class clown? Like, what do you mean the, by funny? I think by that bottled water commercial you uh, answered your own question. Uh yeah, you know, there's a lot of comics who were like like, oh I was tortured when I was a kid and, and like I was always like fairly popular. Sorry guys. <laughs> Wait, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Oregon. Oh, right. But uh, I was like, I was a fuck, like in elementary school, I was just like a guy who talked a lot. I was a class clown, like dude who would do anything for a laugh. And then in high school, I was like an athlete. But I was like, not, there was a lot of fucking athletes at my school who were like, oh, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. But yeah. I was like, ah, I like everybody. So right. I don't know. I played soccer. Did, can you believe that? that yes. What position? I was um, designated All Star. I played. Uh, <laughs> you I never played. played. I, no, <laughs> it's kidding. It's kidding. I played defensive midfield. You look like you were an offensive yeah. lineman. I was the guy who ran the most. Yeah, you ran. Yeah, I had the most. You played midfield. You go up and down. Yeah, and I. But I had an obligation to be back to defend More defensive the goal. midfield. But I, but I. But I was like the third leading scorer on the team. And this is high school sports, so it doesn't fucking matter. You know how like it you know how like <laughs> there are adults set in place who make kids believe that seventeen year old sports is the most important thing in the world, mm. and then it takes a long time to realize it's not. It's not important. Like now, I'm like, I wonder what my high school sports team. How how have I not heard what my high school football team is up to? Remember how important that used to be? It's 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 not important. Hey, if you're a high school kid playing sports, <laughs> quit today. I, I would pack my bags ready to quit every day. <laughs> wow. I should have. You should have. I would have been were, a, you, were you a skinny we kid did when eventually. you played soccer? Were you skinny then? Skinnier. Skinnier? I still got called fat ass. People called me fat ass. So you, you when you're an scary. athlete, you got called fat ass? Like opposing members of other teams. A guy, man... <laughs> But I was always like, I just never like strong, you know. I was like, I had like a little bit of a belly. Are I, there a lot of chubby soccer players in Oregon? Guys, listen, I was on, <laughs> n and this isn't me bragging, but this is me putting it in perspective. I was on a soccer team at a pr in a pretty small town, but our league was, we played against all the big high schools. So we were in the biggest like bra Are not you bracket, not bracket. Like division weight, you guight guys weight were class? in. <laughs> like biggest weight class. One more fat joke, and I'm storming <laughs> out of here. Heavyweight, heavyweight soccer, soccer in Oregon. <laughs> so like, at that time, it was like single A, double A, triple A, and four A, and we were like <laughs> XXXL. Very funny, very funny, <laughs> but we had we were we were a small town, but we had one high school, so we were like as big of a high school as the biggest high schools. All right. So, I was on a team that got third in the state in soccer. So, we were, like, up there. We were good as everybody in the whole How many state. teams were there? Four. <laughs> Four. Four. <laughs> Four. It doesn't – and, again, I just said high school sports doesn't fucking yeah. matter, and it doesn't. And it maybe, it, maybe it can create, like, good characteristics in a person, but who fucking cares? What's funny, I still find, I still find myself lying about my high school sports uh, really? career. Yeah. Not, yeah. not me. Wait, what did you play? Here's what I did. I'll, I'll tell you. This is what I tell people. Um, I, uh, I played football. Mm -hmm. I was a fullback. Okay. And I, um, uh, what else? I played basketball. Uh, and I wrestled. These are just through the career. Uh -huh. So I know that, you know, they play. And um, I think that was it. Here's what really happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the band. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, I Ping tried pong. out. I tried out for uh, the football team my freshman year, <laughs> and, and it's uh, freshman football. Everyone's on the team. Yeah, yeah. I still had to try out for it, and I don't know. So I hurt my back. Like, and instead of being like, "Coach, I hurt my back." Like, I don't know if it's the pads. Am I? I don't know what I'm doing mm -hmm. or whatever. I was just like, "I'm out," <laughs> and so I quit. 
And I was like, well, I'll just go be on the golf team because I wanted to be on a team. So I went and uh, tried out for the golf team, and I didn't make that. That was hor- I was horrible. <sighs> like, those guys were actually pretty good. They yeah. were, like, you know, a couple over par, and I was shooting, like, in the 120s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hitting houses. Um, They've been playing since they were five. So then, but then I did wrestle that year because I was a wrestler. Um, and I wrestled, let's see, uh, yeah, I wrestled uh, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior year. But then... I didn't do any sports other than that until senior year. I'm like, fuck band. I'm going to play football. And so I went and played football. And your senior year. My senior year. And I wasn't a fullback. I was a defensive lineman. But uh, there's this other kid named Ryan Davis who is just as pale as I was and just my size. And so on all the highlight reels, I'm like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I would show great. people, I'm like, that's me right there. Because we didn't have, like, our names on our backs or anything, you know, so I would just tell them. Yeah. And – I think he was number 42 and I was 62. So if you weren't really like, you just, you might see a two. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's Josh. Uh-huh. So I did that. And then, um, and then I didn't wrestle that year. <clears throat> and, uh, people, people are always like, Oh, I didn't wrestle that year. And then I'm like, cause I played basketball. <laughs> it's a complete lie. I still, I'm 34 years old and I'm still telling people that shit. <laughs> There's no, it's so stupid. I don't know why. That's I how it. important high school sports it's are. It's harder to Brandy, lie okay. in basketball highlights. Than it is on football. It highlights. is. I'm. That felt really good. I've never shared that with anybody. Really? That felt really good to be able to come clean, man. Can I try to Hilarious. guess? You, you deserve, follow me on Twitter. You deserve a kiss. <laughs> yeah, Randy, do you want to kiss me? You want to give me a kiss? I will kiss you off the camera. All right. Did, did no, you, no, 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 not, not now. Do it underneath meaningful. the table. Do it underneath the table. Can, I, the table. can <laughs> I try to guess your instrument in the band? Yeah. I my initial reaction is that you were a saxophone player. Correct. <laughs> what? What? Yes, 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 yes. Why? Why are your I don't know. reaction? You seem like a cool guy who would wear <laughs> Bill Clinton shades and play the saxophone. Oh man, when Bill Clinton was playing the Remember sax, that? I was like, "Fuck yeah, that's my instrument." <laughs> totally, man. He made the sax cool for a little what while. What if he was lying about this and he actually played like the tr- trombone or something? <laughs> I, I did know. play the trombone too. Yeah, in, two, yeah, yeah. in two years, he's like, "I've never told." I told Randy. I played the sax, but guess what? I played I the trumpet, the band. Oh, yeah. but not in high school. I played the trumpet, bassoon, uh, bassoon. Played the bassoon. bassoon. That's yeah. hilarious. You like bring that yourself. Uh, the keyboard and <laughs> did they even have a bassoon? They had a keyboard. Yeah, they had keyboards. Isn't bassoon another word for like a horn in sixth grade? French horn. I was a yeah, buffoon. You. You buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> buffoon. I played a I played a buffoon in the band. I played the snare drum. And I played the, a buffoon in played feature. a raccoon. I played the quad. A raccoon. Oh, man. That's I play, hilarious. I played the piano and the guitar, and I did play the trombone mm-hmm. as well, because we had too many saxophone players, and I wanted to stay in band so I could go on the band trips. Okay. And that was the only reason I wanted to be in band. Well, where'd you guys go? Well, I grew up in Arizona, and we just come to San Diego or that's, L.A. That's, that's big time. That's big time, no, man. We, yeah. And I wanted to hook up from with Stacey Rutherford. Oh, uh, oh I know her. It didn't happen because John Berg did. John Berg lost his leg junior year in a motorcycle accident and had a what? titanium leg. Too cool. She hooked up with him instead. Oh, classic. Whoa. You can imagine wow. how shitty I felt. Mm-hmm. You really had a leg up on him. Okay. But we had so many saxophone players that uh, the band director's like, look, um, you're not that great, <laughs> but I could use some trombone players. I'm like, I'll do it. That's and a big so, jump, too. That's a totally, completely different yeah. instrument. Because, like, as a sax player, it's like the same fingering to do, uh, you know, if I wanted to play flute or clarinet, or I could do any of those. Mm-hmm. Right. But trombone, I mean, it's like different. You got to position and, 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 differently. And he was like, I know you want to be a flute player, but <laughs> too many flute players, too. That's a funny thing that flute is like associated with like a lady. But it's it's just a fucking piece of metal. Like who fucking It's gives one of the most shit? beautiful sounding instruments. When I hear it in a song, I love it. Like songs Thank from you. the 70s or whatever. Thank you. I played flute growing up. Okay, guys. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Well, that's funny though because it really is associated with a feminine thing. Yeah, when I see but a no, guy no females the flute. in my in my school played flute. Really? I mean, no. you guys sucked off guys too when you were playing it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> why I love the flute. <laughs> well, who it plays reminds the... me brings me back <laughs> sense memory, guys. Every time I play it. Um What's the fucking band that has like rad flutes in the 70s? Um, and I have albums by them, I just can't think of their fucking name. Yeah, what's the. Um, Jethro Toll? Jethro Toll, and they would fucking go. stand up with their legs all fucking Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, are, what is what's this? Happening over here? This is Link playing the flute. <laughs> hey! Listen! 
<laughs> but you really did play the flute? Yeah, I did. That's amazing. Yeah. But play when I go, to, if I go to like a, a symphony or something, and I and I see a guy playing the flute, I still, I'm still, still. like, <laughs> what that's is what is he doing? That's you know? so fucking weird, right? And you I, know, I, I don't have like, a problem with it, but it's, I'm still like, what? Yeah. In high school, I remember like ladies played the clarinet too, but there are some fucking rad male like clarinet I tried the clarinet the, the clarinet was hard what's yeah. that one I couldn't do Yon, it uh, god what's that guy's he name he all plays the every <laughs> I know Kenny anything G. with my mouth Doesn't guys he just go to reed. town on like and every <laughs> woodwind that's a saxophone he plays a soprano sax clarinet's hard man it was, it's I was just, like fuck this sorry yeah. that's fine Kenny there's G there's one artist that plays just a shit lo- he plays like is it god what's his name Yanni is that right no he's like keyboards and shit right hand flute no, he no? plays like six different instruments. It's not hey, like... let's talk about the spit valve. What about that <laughs> shit, huh, guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I bet, I bet you, you worked up a lot of spit in that tuba, Brian. Yeah, there was a lot of honkers in there. Oh, I, have a, I bought, just recently, I bought a baritone horn on the internet. Oh, cool. Because I, I, I still have my trumpet that was my dad's from I the 60s. I still sax, dude. We should, you want to play? Yes, because I, just, okay. I was like, there's no, because my comedy partner grew up playing the tuba. And the baritone, and I played the trumpet, so I was like, I'm going to buy a fucking baritone because I know you never will. So I just bought one on the internet, and this guy shipped it, and it got all fucked up. Oh. So I, like, I made the guy give uh, me some money man. back. But it's still, and I love it. Like it's, and uh, there's no comedy duos who also play brass instruments. See, I've been wanting to incorporate <laughs> my, uh, my saxophone into my act a little bit and just do something goofy with it, but I just haven't figured out what. Yeah. We want to do like a marching band like thing. We want to just like take over a street because we have someone who has like a, a trombone and a marching band bass drum. I'm in. Can I be in? <laughs> yeah. We just want right. to like just like infiltrate uh, a store flute. or something. I'm going to do flute. I still have my French horn at my mom's house. <laughs> I have no fucking clue how to play. We're all like loser French nerds. <laughs> I just play snare Truth comes man. out, man. <laughs> All right, let's talk about sports again. We're getting sidetracked. Uh, so yeah, back was, in high school. Who I was a fullback in high school football. <laughs> I pole vaulted. All state. Really? Yeah. You were a pole vaulter? Yeah. That's crazy. That's like the best. I was a wrestler. If you were wrestling coach, was also pole vaulting is fucking crazy, man. That's the best sport if you're like if you fart a lot because you can just get really high up in the air and just get all the farts out. Well, that's the high jump, man. That's the high (laughs) jump. I pole vaulted in ninth grade, and I literally in every track meet, I never cleared the bar one time. Not even. (laughs) (laughs) I was like that. What about in practice? You get in practice? I wasn't. I don't think I ever. I don't even know I was on the team. No one else wanted to do pole. I never cleared the bar. You're terrible in general, but you're the best we got. (laughs) Go out there and hit uh, the bar. There's me and one other guy. It was awesome. Was the highest I got? And pole vault? Like that's a half. fucking hard, like, dude. There, there's high. no beginner or intermediate no, pole vaulters. Like you just, you just go shitty. and do it. Yeah. I did the high jump. That's hard too, man. It was hard. What's the highest um, that people are, uh, jump? Like, what's a, what's a respectable jump? In high school? No, just in general, like, I think it's like over seven. Yeah, feet. it's over seven feet now. It's like in seven something. School? Yeah, in high school, it's uh, like no, Olympic six, high jump. Olympic is like high jumping yeah. seven, like four record? or something. You guys, just guess the world record for high jump. I would say seven foot five. Is I'm, the, gonna, I'm gonna go higher. Really? You know what the world record for uh, pole vaulting is? It's like twenty two foot. Yeah, yeah. 22 feet. Yeah, yeah, but you got here's pull. the here's the world record for <laughs> high high uh, high bar jump. <laughs> You're a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he nailed oh it. God. Does this person survive or they die later from internal injuries? No, they this die is from shame. Oh, oh so don't do it. Don't let go. Don't let go, dude. Oh. 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 Oh, that, oh, that person. He broke, <laughs> he broke his neck. He broke his neck, dude. Yeah. Oh. Well, audio. He broke his neck, and I feel like shit for yeah, laughing. Yeah, the audio oh. listeners, we just hilariously laughed at a guy dying. <laughs> oh, God. He definitely Actually, died. This is the, the real record. That's him at a different angle. You don't know. Oh. <laughs> Brian, Brian is confused. Oh. Like, no, no, no. All the high jump. This is the, that was the high pull thing. It's the yeah. high jump. It's right. the high jump. No, 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 seriously, though, this is the, the hard <laughs> That's that dumb. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Can we play one? Wow. Wow. Next? Yeah, but I got, I got, I got the six, I got yeah, six foot that. two in, in practice. Can we play the Olympics really? version of I what happens next? In oh, okay. In the actual, in the actual competition, it was five right. ten. Like what happens here. next? <laughs> no. She goes to fucking no. shit city. She hits breaks her neck and she dies, and we all laugh. 
All right. What was the song she that becomes I the mayor of shit city? Right, uh, Brian. You should be the next Tom Bergeron. You could, could be the ASD guy. I don't remember. What oh. happens next? All right, I here's what the teenager here's from the happens. crowd and ask her a question. <laughs> All right, what happens next? I wish I could ha hang out at a gymnastics. <laughs> this is oh, all. This, this, one, is, this one's good. I hate when. Oh shit! I hate when YouTube does this jerky oh, no. shit. Oh. Oh, for my. All right. Whatever. Yeah. My favorite. So my favorite one is maybe it was in the Olympics or maybe in the qualifying trials or whatever, but, it, you know, it's old, and it's just, like, that guy running so hard, and he, like... Full speed, yeah. Full speed and jumps on that vault, but he doesn't get any <laughs> yeah. air, and he just slams right into the, oh, that that's horse. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Horse. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes chest first into the Yeah, end chest first. And, I mean, it's oh, God, it you can feel it hurts that so bad when I see that, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's are so you looking for that, uh, Brian? So I, 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 I cringe. I, I close he my eyes. Directly. I can't watch this. There's like things. a guy running. There's no uh, skateboard accident. It hits the springboard, and, but he doesn't get any height, and he just goes right into the thing he's supposed to like uh, launch off of. Yeah, it's just poor he just, planning. Like, chest first. Oh. It's like a famous Olympic. I don't know about, but this one. But let's uh, let's the watch Olympics? the biggest springboard so. wow. ever in the world. Maybe that. Uh, <laughs> what the oh, that's fake. What the fuck? That's fake as shit. No way. Yeah. And oh, that also, can't be fake. It can't nah, be fake. That's fake as shit. No, I gotta see that. That's not possible. That's fake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is fake. That I got a D in physics, but that shit is <laughs> fake. What was the other one on the internet where the guy launches off that big hill and lands in a little tiny pool? On the other side of the hill. Have you seen that one on the internet? I don't know, but here's... Oh, yeah. That's ridiculous. Uh -uh. Here's the world's best one. A lot of fake shit out there, fools. For you audio listeners, go suck a dick. All right. So, what happens... All right, Mom. Oh, God, this guy deserves well, it. Mom's there, so <laughs> she's going to be mortified. He, jumped, he cuts his tits off. All right, what happened? Oh, dude, great pause. <laughs> I know, really good quality pause. You, got, you must shit. be an awesome finger banger. <laughs> Tony, what do, you th what do you think? I think happens? that whole thing he's about to jump on breaks, breaks over, and he does the classic Tony Hinchcliffe trademark face plant straight ahead, all in one motion. Too many words. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I think he goes off to very the left. Off like to the left. At an angle. Like, but still going forward. All right. But it breaks, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, just a fall. What a shitty mom. Yeah. His mom just yeah. laughs. Yeah. 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 No one shows a shitty photography. You gotta find that. What is that thing called? Oh, Volting? shit. Is this. Who's that? Ralphie? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just is that Randy's bottled water commercial? <laughs> <laughs> Too many words? <laughs> uh, too, many un too many uneducated words. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> what? What's the big... They're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, the slide goes to the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're stuck. Because <laughs> they're not supposed to be in this. Uh-oh. <laughs> no way. Look at those boobies. Oh, that's okay. so... Right. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Are you guys ready for another game of what happens Hell next? Hell yeah. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh. This is for big money. A uh, girl on a motorcycle right here. Uh, I don't want to show it yet, but what do you guys think is going to happen? I'm going to get bored. Oh. Boom. Oh. JK, dog. Oh. Wow. All right. Here we go.
I bet she just comes out of it all right. You think? <laughs> yeah, I bet she just keeps driving it. We're waiting for it. Wow. Somebody needs to know how to video edit it. All right, what the yeah, fuck is this? Was... Uh... Oh, shit. They, they figured out if you keep people watching longer, you get more costs. There we go. More money per you get, Here's yeah, what happens. You advertisers. This always ends in a head. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not that good. <laughs> But still, she is going fast. It's because we're missing our fucking song that I can't figure out what it is. All right, we should probably end this shit. Yeah. We're fucking running out of steam. Tony, what's going on with you? Where you at? Uh, make sure you watch a television show that I'm writing called The Burn on Comedy Central, Tuesday, August 14th at... 10.30, Tuesday, August 14th at 10.30 on Comedy Central called The Burn and The Roast of Roseanne Barr on August 12th. And I uh, also wrote uh, uh, Jeff Ross's new one-hour special called uh, Jeff Ross Roast America. That's coming out on Comedy Central thing? August 10th. Well, with him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> August 10th. <laughs> so the 10th, the 12th, and the 14th on Comedy Central. Damn, See some stuff that I came up, up with. Well, it's Killer. just all happening. I want to make you a cake. Some stuff that I've been working and on. And did you just get your name on the wall? Just got my name on the wall at the world famous yeah, comedy man. store. Good yeah. for you, man. Thank you. Permanent part of history. On my Facebook wall. Took five years and three months of doing comedy there almost every single night to get that. That's all it takes. So I encourage everybody to uh, try it. <laughs> See if they like it. <laughs> Randy, what's up, man? Where, where are you at? Hey, what's up, guys? Every Saturday at midnight, it's a comedy variety show called The Tomorrow Show, and I do it with Davey Johnson, Ron Lynch. He was uh, Mr. Lynch on uh, Home Movies. Mm. Uh, I do a podcast called The Bone Zone. You can listen to it on Death Squad. We also have our own channel on iTunes. Search for The Bone Zone. And there's uh, some good content there. (laughs) Please go there. Please listen. Me, Brendan Walsh, David Johnson. Thank you. And where can we find you, sir? Jeff? Jeff. Jeff, come on, man. What about me? You got a Twitter? You got a Facebook? You want people to go to? You can, yeah, jefflorch.com. Uh, my Twitter is jlorchy. L O R C H I E. That's oh, right. Shit. I didn't say my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, Randy Lidke, at Randy Lidke. No, oh, man, we passed you. <laughs> I like right. passed you, Randy. Uh, I'll passed email you, you. I'll email you. At I'll Tony Hinchcliffe. You. Tony H plus Hinchcliffe plus E. TonyHinchcliffe.com. Um. <clears throat> you can find me at Josh McDermott, that's M-C-D-E-R-M-I-T-T, on Twitter. And then uh, August 14th, I'm at the Irvine Improv with the Comedy Juice. Oh, shit. And the 15th at the Hollywood Improv with the Comedy Juice. And then the following week in beautiful Sunny Vale, California, up in the Bay Area. Oh, and uh, you can watch my show on TV Land Wednesday nights. Yes. Yeah. Retired at 35. Land. Billy. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Billy Bonnell, B O N N E L L. Check out my sketch channel, Tunguska Yacht Club. And uh, I'll be at the Laugh Factory on Wednesday, August 1st, and at the Comedy Palace in San Diego, August 2nd through 4th. Nice. That's it. Pete. Pete, I'm PDC, P E T E C, on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, I'm Brian Redband. We do this uh, here at the Ice House once, twice a week. If you want to go to the show, go to icehousecomedy.com. Also, I got some news about the uh, Hard Rock uh, Rehab Chronicles. Looks like it's a no-go. Uh, the person that owns the bank that owns everything uh, heard about it after we did our first episode and decided to cancel the whole thing. Uh, because I guess they used to have a reality show there, and the reality show went crazy and did a bunch of shit, and so they got scared. So that's a no go. So I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we'll figure something else out. But uh, thank you for listening to the Ice House Chronicles, and don't forget go to DeathSquad.tv and subscribe to us on Death Squad. Uh, and also Joey Diaz. Thank you, Joey Diaz. He's somewhere around here, and of course Joe Rogan. <laughs>